A warm welcome to Disky Talk with Luyolo. If you're tuning in for the very first time, I do ask that you please subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you've been a part of this journey, I hope you thoroughly enjoy this episode. So, on today's episode, I'm joined by a very, very special guest, and he goes by the name of Sviso Mumalo. Coach, how are you doing? Good, how are you? Ah, all is well. Thank you very much for taking time out of your busy schedule and um, coming to bless us with your time and your knowledge as well. How could I not? <laughs> I mean, even now, ah, Leol, I don't have to, to coach anymore. Yeah. I just go and become a dancer. <laughs> I'm sitting where Kevin, Coach Kevin, Coach Rolani. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I don't understand. I'm telling you. Yeah. Hey, I must ask the Godfather. Yeah. Because it's sleek. Because it's sleek. tell you. Yeah. For sure. For sure. <laughs> but thanks for having me, man. And a lot of people will be asking, uh, Ngumale, where does Ngumale come from? So, yeah. so Ngumale is what's on the ID, mm -hmm. but in actual fact, I'm, I'm Sifiso Zulu. But oh, of course, okay. there's yeah. other things, you know? So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But thanks for having yeah. me. Yeah. Thanks. No, no, no. Thank you very much. And um, I, I look forward to it. Yeah. You know, I really, really look forward to it because um, I do know that um, you're a sharp footballing brain yourself. Thanks for that. And uh, you've helped develop and yeah, yeah. unearth um, some of the most talented young players within yeah. South Africa, which is. Um, yeah, so I really look forward to yeah, yeah, thanks for that. the thanks conversation. For that. And um, yeah, so let, let, let's take a trip down memory lane. What was your first encounter with football? Sure. Um, I, 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 I can't say I remember, but uh, you know, growing up in the, in, in the township or a gassy, if, if some people would call it, yeah. um, football is... is is what is what's there mm. right as soon as you go out of the the house kids are playing soccer especially if you you're a boy child you know so so you know man at at, at six at five i was playing um because my 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 brothers were were had were footballers as well mm. you know but my older brother had gone on to play basketball but he had a lot of um love for, for, for football, you know, so I started playing at six, seven, and I think around the time when I was really getting into loving the game was yeah. around 2006 World Cup. Yeah. And um, yeah, my older brother started calling me uh, Podolski. Yeah. Uh, that was my nickname from yeah. him. And yeah, yeah I mean, and obviously when you get a nickname from, uh, 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 um, from of, of a renowned footballer you fall more in love with the game because you start to think hey maybe i've got something you know yeah. and this guy oh i'm this guy okay so so that's when uh, around that time um you know I, I i fell in love with the game i started playing more and i was always just playing yeah so so i think yeah man around 2000 2004 yeah. 2005 that's when i really you know yeah really started to play yeah yeah, yeah. and which position did you play then I was a, I was a midfielder. I was mm. an eight. How did that come about? Playing midfield. Yeah. I think my 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 one my physique. Yeah. And also where 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 I used to play, I was one of the the, the, the better players. Yes. You know, even even in terms of growing and going out to play for academies and all of those always yeah. I was the one that, that would go, you know, oh, trials and okay. all of that. Yeah. So and I was the youngest, but mm. I was I was I was a, a bit better than than my peers. So so obviously when you are said to be the most talented, yeah. you wanna play in the midfield. The midfield you know? you yeah. wanna be the one to, to yeah. cook there, to make things happen. You know how you're, it is. you're buzzing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was yeah. I wasn't I wasn't was and then and also my physique. My physique as well. <laughs> yeah. Because I was I, I was I was younger but I didn't look oh, like I was yeah, younger. Yeah, yeah. So I yeah. looked like I was the same yeah. uh, age as as the, the the age group I was playing in, which was higher. Yeah, you know. So so yeah, yeah, man. I was yeah, I was that player. I was around where I stayed. Mm. I was one of the better players. So, yeah, so I played midfield. Yeah. yeah, and speaking of being one of the better players, you then progress and get the opportunity of um, playing for a renowned academy, which yeah. is Diamas. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. and I remember at that time. You know, it was a, a very exciting project, project yeah, that had come sure, up, sure. you know, because a lot of young, talented players wanted to go there. Yeah, they wanted sure, to be a part sure, of it because yeah. it was just something different. Yeah. You know, how did that opportunity come about? So, 
Diambas, uh, so before Diambas, mm. uh, I went on to play for Agosto Palacios Apprentice Academy. Yeah. When I started. So I played there, played there, played there. But obviously, at Palacios Academy, you have to pay. Mm. And at that time, my dad was trying. To be honest, he was really trying to, yeah. to help out. And then he couldn't pay. And then I, I left, I went back to play a gas. Yeah. And then the following year, uh, Palacios called, called my dad. He says, look, because you know how the 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 that academy was run, right? Uh, uh, Palacios yeah. is close to Pirates. Yeah, yeah. So the, the good players at Palacios after the, yeah. the at the end of the season they get promoted to the actual Orlando Pirates development. Yeah. So so I was one of those. Uh, although I wasn't, I didn't play till the end. Mm. So I went back home and then. When, when the next year was going to start, when I was now going to high school, when they were starting a new intake, um, he called Palacios Court said, hey, look, I want to see your boy, called my dad, I want to see your boy, I like him. You know, Palacios yeah. and liking physical players, and yeah. I was that player. Yeah. I was not the best, but, you know, in terms of physically, I was, I was there and he liked that. So I, I went back, I went back there uh, to Pirates under, under 13. Mm. Um, didn't, didn't play too long there. Things didn't work out, you know. I wasn't. I think at that time I wasn't good enough, mm. and then then I'd go back home mm. uh, to play a white city now yeah. uh, under our coach Andy Lezulu and Upashin. Mm. So they were. So I was just training, then training, then then there were trials the following year at Diambas. Coach Junior Pengo, who was at uh, Supersport, um, who was close to my dad. So he said, "Look, uh, things didn't work out at Pirates, yes, but there's an opportunity here." Uh, they are looking for players. That, that it's a bet, even better opportunity because they are connected mm. in uh, in France. France at the time, yeah. You know, uh, Patrick Vieira and all of those people are involved. Like, okay, exciting. I went. Uh, I remember because I, 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 it had to happen. It had to work out, man. Yeah. I, I, like even on the way to my trials, I was listening to um, what's this? Just to give me the yeah. that vibe to compete, Eminem, Eminem lose yeah. yourself. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> before just just in the zone. Yeah. You know, you know, as a coach now, when you talk about in the zone, yeah, like, I understood. Yeah, I was in the zone before the trials. Yeah. You know, and they went well. Went went through uh, the race trials. So you go the first time. You you so it's, it's a lengthy process. Mm. With them, you know, there's proper trials, not one day and then you're mm. done. No, you go one day, you go, and then the following. You so I did four trials before I was selected mm. and then coach Tabo, Tabo Sinang then was our coach and he selected a squad of, of uh, 14 players which was genius of him mm. genius of him because the other age groups had 20 and 21 our intake had uh, 14 mm. so yeah that's that's how I got there coach Junior Pengu just organized uh, for I uh, just let my father know about the trials and I'd go and um, yeah, I, I, I impressed, I guess, and I was selected. Mm. Yeah. And um, having impressed then, and then you were selected, what was um, your first season like there? For me, it was very challenging, uh, particularly because of my background. Mm. You know, uh, you come with uh, the, the failure or rejection fresh in your mind. You know, I didn't make it at Pirates. Mm. Okay, and now you get there, you have players from Vets, you have players from Swallows. Yeah. You just, Mina, Mina, we got a little white seat. Yeah. You know, we got a little white seat under good coaches, to be yeah. fair, you know, who, who really supported me, who are still there for me even now. So, so the first thing was changing for me. I had a, I, I won't, I won't lie to you. At, if, if it wasn't an academy, if it was a development team, I would have been cut. Yes. Yeah, I would have been cut for sure. You know how elite development teams are. The best must play. Yeah. Yeah. Only the best. Only the best. So yeah. academies like the School of Excellence and the Diambas, they, 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 when they take you uh, at, at your first year or whatever, they, they, they'll, they'll run with you. you know, they'll go with you through the ups and downs and all of that. So it was challenging for me. We had Ayanda Rowana. He had come from Bitvers Vets, mm. top player. You had uh, uh, Enslin Williams, who's now at Hungry Lions. He mm. had come from Pirates. Mm. So I was with him at Pirates. Mm. So he knows that, hey, Baba, when I'm here, I'm you know, type of thing. And, uh, and there was, um, there was with Karabo from Solo. So the, all of these players had come from really good 
um, development teams and yeah. all of that. And I, 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 was, I was good enough to be there. That's why I was yeah. there. But it, it kind of creeped into me that sense of doubt and insecurity that ah, maybe I'm not good enough. And yeah. It really hurt me. Mm. That, that really hurt. That experience, even now as a coach, has helped me understand how to help players mm. who go through you know, uh, a, a, a set of circumstances like that. Yeah. yeah. And um, like you mentioned, you know, there were so many talented yeah, yeah, players, yeah, sure. you know, in that group. Which are some of the players who um, came out of that group and have gone on to become uh, professional footballers? Well, in our group, we had um, Ayana Rowana. Yeah. Which, he's not a professional now, but he, 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 yeah. he did become, become one and still could become one uh, yeah. again. You know, he's still young. Um, we had uh, Keanu Cupido. Yeah, Cape Town City. Yeah, he was. Oh, he was. I've never. I've never seen such talent. Yeah, for a defender at that age. You know? yeah. Actually, I had never seen such talent. Genuinely, just yeah, just as a footballer. Yeah. yeah, and then I met Ndutu Zishabala and I was like, okay, okay, yeah. And then this is a different <laughs> level. It, it, it's a different Kupido conversation. But Kupido for me, especially because he protected us so much. Kupido, yo, he was, he was fantastic. Yeah, uh, we had uh, Daniel Job. He played for the MTC at Pirates at mm. some point. He just signed now for TTM mm. um, in our group. Um, but then, yeah, in the, in the whole academy, we had obviously um, Lebo Mutiba, mm. who went on to go to, to play in France. He's like, yeah. you know, the, the, that guy, you know, for us. Yeah. You know, like, hey, we're there, you were with that guy. Yeah, you know I mean? that's the guy, yeah. And uh, Tulang Masakela as well. He's at Maroma Gallen. So, so we, had, we had a number of really. Uh, good players that have gone on to. There's Renate Ramatlapeng. He had mm. also played for Test Sporting, I think, professionally. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, those uh, are some of the Afro. names. Shoes. Yeah, yeah, shoes. I shoes, know him. For he, sure. was at, yeah. he was also at um, MTC. Yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yes, yeah. yes. At Pirates as well. So, yeah, yeah. Quality yeah, defender. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good player, good player, yeah. yeah. And Siabong mm. uh played at last season. He was at, uh, what's this team? In Pretoria. Uh, Kelly's. Kelly's. Yeah. Like Kelly's. So, yeah, yeah, him as well. So, yeah. Yeah. And, and, and which were some of um, the, the really good teams yeah. you, you played against at that time and um, some of the tournaments as well you yeah, got yeah, to experience? Yeah. We, we played in the GDL, yeah. which is now known as. Uh, well, we played in the Safa Soweto League, yeah. which Pirates Chiefs, now known as the GDL. Yeah. yeah. Development. But then it was the Safa Soweto. But then there was also Safa Gauteng that had sundowns and the teams from Pretoria. Yeah. We played where there was Pirates, Chiefs. Um, so yeah, Chiefs and Pirates were the, 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 the teams that we, strong teams that we played against. Um, uh, we played against Ajax in the Night Cup. Yeah. So the tournaments, the interesting tournaments or the really great tournaments we played was the Night Cup. We played Future Champs. Mm. And Future Champs we played as a school. I remember, I remember uh, a certain club was not happy yeah. that um, we qualified because they were like, no, these ones, they're not a school. Mm. They're an academy. Mm. Stop calling them a school because we qualified to play future champs as a school, Sunward Park High. Yeah. Not as the Ambas. Yeah. So, so yeah, so it was Night Cup uh, and uh, future champs. I think those are some of the, I guess, notable mm. uh, tournaments that we, that we played. And we, we played against a very good IX team. We played against a super sport team a lot of times. Um, where we were better, but we lost. Yeah. I think we lost. Yeah, twice. We lost in the night cup against Supersport. It had your Gatla uh Nelson, Malulege, uh, Man Mon Limboto. Yeah. So it good players. Yeah. Um so yeah, yeah, those are some of the good teams that we, and then obviously in the league we play against Chiefs and Pirates. Yeah. Uh, regularly uh, over two legs, yeah. Yeah. So after that, then what, what was what was the next step? So from you then leaving yeah. Diambas, what's what's the next step, and what were you currently doing at that time in your life? So so you must understand that at at Diambas we're the only group that that stayed there. Mm -hmm. So it's not a boarding school, so to speak. Yeah. We are in a normal school, like Clapham. Yeah. In a normal school, but I think what's different with Clapham, I'm, I could be wrong, is that they don't live. At the school, I think he could be live. wrong. <laughs> Don't fight. He's, he speaks under correction. <laughs> I could be wrong. So no, I, it's not like that. I, no, I know them. Must be careful if in, in, in South African football. I just in hey, he'll come at you. <laughs> come at you. Yeah. yeah. So so w with them, I think they live elsewhere. We lived at the school. Yeah. 
right? Yeah. So, so we were like superstars, man. Yeah. So you you literally you, you'd literally walk out of the 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 boarding or yeah. like at the school. Yeah. And then so you you wouldn't walk to school or anything. Yeah. You literally, you open the door, so the school. Yeah. And people are waiting for you. Like, yeah. Hey, I'm at the and all of yeah. that. So so from from grade nine to grade eleven, I wasn't. I wasn't focused. Mm. It, was, it, was, it was too nice. Yeah. That's why I have the greatest respect for Lebo Motiba. Mm. Greatest respect. You know, because how how he he knew, he'd tell us, tell us, hey, not close all overseas. Oh well, Luna le Pizimo, you know? Mm. And it happened. So so then grade only in grade eleven I started realizing that hey man. Mm, there's more to this and also maybe this could not happen yeah you, know? you don't know you don't know and also uh with the help of great teachers you know it's like with great coaches sometimes you find yourself through the lens of someone else mm. just how they see you mm. you know so 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 I, I had good teachers who saw the potential in me so that I could see the potential in myself. And yeah. Say, Actually, academically, I'm not bad. Mm. You know. So grade eleven, that's where I started. You know, I started. You know, with my marks. I was. You know. And then I and then had the 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 keenness or eagerness to go to university the following year. Mm. And but then but then because with Diambas the, the the problem with 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 well not the problem but the issue we had was that we didn't have a professional team. Yeah. So already you know that. After matric, I have to find my own way. Yeah. Uh, and if no one is calling, if, if not an exceptional player, because I wasn't, then ish, you, you need to weigh your options. Yeah. You know? so, so already then, um, I had planned that, you know what, I'll, I'll just go to university. And uh, after high school, I, 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 started at, I started studying at UJ. Um, and yeah, and I think that was the, yeah, the progression. The, after, the progression, yeah, yeah. To say, okay. After Diambas, after Matric, there's nothing because it closed. Yeah. We were the last year. After that, there was nothing. So, And, and how, how did that come about? Because I, th I think that it still remains yeah. a, a mystery to how it happened. the greater public of yeah, yeah, how, yeah. how it closed. Because when you look at Diambas and yeah. you mention some of the guys who've come from mm -hmm. there, mm -hmm. you know, it always had very talented players. Yeah. You know, and Diambas was one of the teams then that mm -hmm. were competing yeah, within yeah. youth development football. Mm -hmm. So, how does that happen, the closure of it? And it was a. It was a slow decline you know, yeah. for us. We could see because it started um, where it started with them funding everything mm. for us. You know, uh, from first year, second year, uh, and then then they start having meetings about, <laughs> hey guys, maybe you might need to start paying, and yeah. you know, and so you can see that the the that the, the academy was going through a financial uh, crisis, and another thing that made us start to think, hey, maybe the, the, the situation is a bit different now. Yeah. Was when after, after our intake, mm. there wasn't, there was, there, there wasn't a, a, another intake. Because we only had three intakes yeah. at Diambas, which is not normal. Because mm. usually you'd have five intakes from grade eight to grade 12. Oh, so I see. We, we, so after us, there was, there, was, there was supposed to be two intakes. And then, and then that's how it goes. And then when the matriculants progress to, to, to varsity, a new intake comes yeah. in. That didn't happen. Hmm. So we could see that, okay, you know, and players started leaving um, and finding, I think that's when, when we were going through that, that's when I and Aurora went to Chiefs and your, your Siabongas went to Sundowns, because Siabongas so Wakali then went to Sundowns. Uh, so, so we still don't know exactly what, what happened, but it, it was slow. It was, it was just the little things that you could see that, okay, now things are starting to change. And, you know, soon, uh, we would learn that it's 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 done. Yeah, you know, not, there's there's no coming back from this financial um, uh, crisis that that, yeah. that the academy was in. But also, I think it was from what we've heard. What we heard, because we, we were players, we didn't know it was lack of support maybe here yeah. in South Africa because the funders were from France and Senegal and they stopped pumping in the money. Mm. So so when that that well went dry, it was it was hard to get support in South Africa because you are you are as a, an academy that was sponsored by people from France and now you want support from us. Yes, that, that whole thing yeah. it, it, in in the beginning even there were certain 
tournaments you couldn't play in or leagues you couldn't play in you know in gatekeeping um but then yeah yeah so so yeah it's it was a slow decline and but we still don't know exactly exactly what really what, happened what really happened yeah. I, we know it's financially it, it's it's uh, something to do with finances if they were mismanaged if the if the funders stopped funding or why they stopped funding yeah. it you know, we, we i can't answer i really don't yeah. know yeah yeah so the next step then within your journey um you then go to uj yeah all right so when you get to uj where are you psychologically are you still feeling like you know what i can still make it yeah, as a professional perfect. and i'm going to play at uj or were you starting to realize that um maybe playing professional football yeah. is not going to happen so with me I, i i believe that i'm a i'm a hyper growth individual right so so when i got to to uj i stopped to be honest at that time i stopped thinking about soccer mm. or becoming a professional or anything mm. because even the experience at at uh, at Diambas was it was so amazing that you think to yourself you know and it, and how it ended yeah. it was just heartbroken you're like ah oh, man all your friends have you know going through that that stage where you know some some things are happening for some people yeah. and you're thinking ah man, i'm just not um because also the belief and faith that the coaches who were there had in me mm. you know was it lived with me yeah. so when it was not there anymore i felt i couldn't stand on my own yeah. as a player I, i really felt i couldn't stand on my own yeah so i thought okay let me yeah, let me just go to school uh and let me make something of myself outside of the game because yeah. one thing even then i knew was you're going to do well in life mm. you know it doesn't have to be uh, as a, as a as a as a soccer player but you want to do well yeah. you know because i'm i'm very disciplined and 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 and, and. so yeah. so so yeah so th- at that time i wasn't even thinking because there were i could have easily done Charles maybe at at UJ mm. with the background of coming from yeah. uh, 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 Diambas I I think I would have made it you definitely you know? so so yeah but I but I I just thought no it's fun I, I don't have to play yeah so yeah. then um what were you studying when you went to UJ I studied well I wanted so the 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 the, the issue I had or the problem I had before getting into varsity was I didn't apply or anything because yeah. remember I I started thinking about my academic life late in grade 11 yeah right and obviously you have to apply with your grade 11 marks mm. and all of so i didn't apply so 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 I, what i wanted to do was something in business yeah because you know that's like i said hyper growth i wanted to be a big businessman yeah and, you know because yeah you know so so uh so then i couldn't so so, so because i didn't apply on time i applied after high school yeah so when so so the late the late applications all of that yeah i was part of that oh, those people like I, gang, yeah being like okay yeah, so hang you on a little gang you man being like okay since this into that yeah so, so so yeah uh we did that so 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 i couldn't do business then, yeah because i was late and every obviously every, everyone wants to do business yeah. and the one cause that at UJ there's no one you can always get it uh, you know you could always get in it was PMG which is public management and yeah. governance so i did that yeah and then i was like no, no, no it's not it yeah. yeah so i did it for like a year and yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. so at this time are there thoughts of going into into coaching with regards to football where is your head space at did have you have you totally forsaken football yeah, yeah, or yeah. is there a part of you that feels like okay you know what maybe um i can go into coaching okay. maybe i can be a, a good commentator maybe i can be an analyst yeah, yeah, yeah. like where is your head at at that time okay, let me tell you how i got into coaching so yeah. so then at that time i'm not thinking about football at yeah. all i'm not even watching games and yeah. all that i'm heartbroken <laughs> i'm heartbroken and you go right you know been there, man. yeah yeah and then um uh, a kid called karabo mudao so so coming back from home got to get the scene and I'm walking home and he comes to me you know and and mind you I I I spent a lot of time away from home mm. when I was not cuz I live a, a home is is a lot mm. the only one south of Johannesburg but now I I spent a lot of time 
at the Ambas, which is at Sunwood, because mm. we stayed there. And when I was not there, because there's not much football happening there in Seso Wade. So, so I'm playing a white seat, you know. Uh, so, so when this kid comes to me, he comes to me, he says, Hey, 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 hey hot man, he's young. Mm. Ah, they were playing, he's mm. his coach. Mm. So, so the reason I'm telling you that I, I, I didn't spend a lot of time when I was, you know, at home, mm. because I always played soccer. Mm. So I was playing soccer, so it or at Diambas. Mm. So the reason, so, so now, he comes to me now, the first thing that comes to mind is, how do you even know I play soccer? Yeah. Or that I played for Diambas yeah. and all of that. You know, because you're young, you know, into art, yeah. you know. I don't know. So I guess, yeah. So he comes to me, he says, ah, man, please, go to school, uh, stand it, this kid, na, 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 na. Mm. I'm like, okay, cool. And that's how I get into coaching. Then. Wow. So, so I, start, I start my first sessions, or my, my, my first team that I had, mm. I coached them. We're training a, like on the street. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So where I live, wow. There's no strata, but it's a second, you know, so it's just like, it's, it's, it's open, but it's yeah. a street, but yeah. there's space. Yeah. So obviously we do a lot of small sided games and all of that. Uh, but at that time, I'm just, I'm not, I'm not coaching to become a coach. Yeah. I'm you still just, studying at UJ. Yeah. I'm just helping these kids mm. and I'm coaching them um, because they want to be, uh, to be, to, to, to play football, you know. Um, then, uh, but to get into coaching now. Uh, because now, because I'm, I'm helping these kids, mm. now I must come back to football. Yeah. You know, so I can give them the right yes. set, uh, sort of yes. uh, coaching or whatever. Yes. So now I'm watching football no, again. I, I, I love that, man. <laughs> it, it shows that you are really dedicated yeah, to yeah, these yeah, kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now I'm watching football again. And, and around that time, Coach Rolani, who is the reason I get into coaching, yeah. Coach Rolani becomes the coach of Orlando Pirates head mm. coach. And as I said before, as a hyper growth individual, I think to myself, okay, it, it can happen as mm. a coach. I can, because at that time, I, 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 I'm just thinking to myself, the best coaches I had at that time were coaching at youth level. Yes. And I'm thinking, I don't wanna, I don't wanna you know, you know uh, not get into the highest level only because I'm young. Yes, yes, yes. You know, if, it must be because I'm not good. Yes. Then when Rulani makes it, you're like, okay, if you are good, maybe there's an opportunity then yeah. to, to, to become, you know, to coach at elite level. Yeah. And um, I remember going to my mom then and saying to her, hey, look, I'm going all in with this. Mm. Like, and she's like, yeah, but you're studying this and all of that. What are you going to do? You know? And mm. I say to her, look, my elevator pitch was, was Coach Rulani. Mm. Like, look at him. You know? mm. he's, 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 he's successful. Look yeah. He's young. Yeah. Yeah. You know? So so there's 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 a, there's something in in in, mm. in 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 this space, you know, and um, and yeah, she she gave me the support. Uh, she was happy for me to go do it. She paid for my 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 badges and all of that. Yeah. And then and 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 yeah. just to just to take it from there. Yeah. So which were your first um, badges that you did? So I did a, a which I was, I was getting to that. Yeah. Uh, I did my my D license. Mm -hmm. So now the another person that is influential in me getting into coaching is Andy Rizul, Gold. Mm -hmm. So so Gold takes me through this journey yeah. to say, okay, if you want to do this, if you want to become a coach, and all of that. This, this is the route you have to take, yeah. you know, so he helps me to get my D license and yeah, so yeah, yeah, so, so that's how, that's how I get into, into, into coaching, you know, yeah. and to, 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 take, to, to, to get into it to me as a career was, was largely because of, 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 of Rulani Mugwena and to become, to start, because I started on, I started, when I started coaching, I started being a good coach when I started because <laughs> because yeah. of Tabusino. Yeah. Because I you know, you know, I always believe that when you start coaching, you model or you mirror the best coach that you had. Or the, mm. the coach that you, you, you had the bad, the best feeling or, or 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 the coach that you feel like um he was the best coach to you. Yeah. You know? So so when I started then I'd I'd speak like him, I'd but the sessions were just like the session that he'd give us. Even then, I understood progressive loading mm. because of him, you know, and how he stru he'd structure his sessions. And you see, oh, we go for warm up, for warm up, 
mm. or it's it's maybe medium intensity or whatever and then oh, so you don't start with high intensity you mm. know those nitty gritties of coaching so that's why i say i, I say i think when I, even when i started i started as a good coach because of the, the type of coach that yeah. I had in, in he, him as a coach, mm. his, how he spoke, his professionalism. So, so yeah, yeah. So those those three people were my biggest influences in the beginning. Yeah, in the beginning. Um, when I, uh, me becoming a coach. And it's funny because Coach Tabo, and I, I, I didn't know this, Coach mm. Tabo Zinong and Hulani actually coached together. Yeah. I found that in the, uh, yeah. in the interview yeah. that you had to coach Hulani, which yeah. is interesting. So. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, the way it works now. Yeah, yeah. yeah so um, after, after getting then your, your, your badges, at that time, what then becomes um, your first uh, official, official opportunity to, co to coach? So, so my first opportunity to coach, actually, okay, so, so the kids that I was coaching, we, it became a team. Mm. We called it, uh, at first it was Classic 11, mm. because there was a guy uh, who was helping me at that time, uh, Upapa, and then, and then he, he started working and all of that, so then it, was all, it fell on to me, mm. and then I, we changed it to Royal, um, Royal Academy. Mm. So I spent two years uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> so I spent two years yeah. with the <laughs> yeah. one. Yeah, one. So I spent yeah. two years. I, I spent two years with those boys, um, yeah. with my team, which was the best. Um, I think the most important part of of my coaching mm. because I had to be accountable to myself. Yes. So I have to. I had to arrive early, mm. not because I had to make a boss or whatever. Because it's important to me mm. to arrive early and mm. things like that, and to plan my session, yeah. and to to deliver a good session, half time, all of those things. Yeah. So, so so then my proper then uh, coaching role. I wouldn't say job because I was still kind of in a voluntary. Uh, yeah. uh, 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 um, uh, position was uh, in Lens, mm. a team called uh, LSA, mm. uh, Lanesia Soccer Academy. Um, so they they were now playing in in. So this is before I don't even have my badges at that yeah. time. Yeah. So, but my first coaching role was at uh, LSA, and it's a team that's playing in the GDL at the time mm. with Pirates, Chiefs, and all yeah. of those teams. And again, for me, uh, two years into coaching, already third year, I'm thinking. I want to coach there. Mm. That's competitive. That is pressure. Yeah. I want to go there. And yeah. there I'll learn more about myself. I didn't mm. want the easy stuff. Yeah. So I wanted to go there. Yeah. You know? And uh, so, yeah. So then in that year, uh, that's when I get my, my deal, I said. Yeah. And then the following year, when I had left them, I, I get my, my C license, mm. now coaching uh, peer removers. In, yeah. And so it's a senior team. So, yeah. Yeah. And um, at that time then, when, when you, you, you are coaching um, those respective teams. What type of training sessions were you having yeah. and how would you facilitate them, you know? Yeah. I just want you to go in depth yeah, 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 with yeah. regards to training sessions because uh, a lot of people um, from the outside looking in, yeah. you know, they just know, yeah, yeah. come Saturday, come Sunday, it's 90 yeah. minutes, that's it. But okay. during the week, what were you trying to do with, okay. with your teams? And I think that'll also give yeah. A lot of viewers at home a clear indication of the different types of training sessions you can yeah, have yeah. with younger players yeah, yeah, and then sure. obviously with older players yeah, yeah. so so at that time uh, at Lanesia yeah. it was before my 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 D license yeah so I'm coaching um, I'm learning to I'm finding myself yeah. but in actually uh, in actual fact uh, uh, Tabo Sinong is living vicariously through me yeah you know, because it, because now I'm just doing what he taught me mm. at the time before I get my, my T license. Yeah. So with the team, uh, so now with with LSA at that time, there's one field. Yeah. Right. So so I don't know if I can. Yeah. Let me not mess it up now. No no no. Do it. Do it. Mess it up. So please. so 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 now what happened was yeah. uh, at LSA you'd have uh, there's one field. Yeah. Uh, so for that, no problem. Let me just move tidy. the ball. Yeah, don't it's worry. Not being tidy. Yeah. yeah. So so this was this is how we we trained. Yeah. Four divisions. Yeah. Right. Uh, we had your under 17s. We had under 15s. I was with the under 15s. Yeah. We had uh, under under seven under 19s and under 13s. Yeah. So what this meant then was you couldn't do much in terms of 
uh, big spaces. Yeah. So we had to we had to we uh, we had to train in a small space. Yeah. Just by by design mm. because we have one field as an academy. Yeah. You know? So 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 then before before my my my. Um, my D license, even after my D license, the type of sessions we are having is we're having a lot of small sided games, yeah. doing a lot of technical work mm. with movement mm. uh, and things like that. And so we had movable goals. So most of the time we have, we'd move the goals to here, mm. especially with my age group. Yeah. And because we did a lot of that, mm. uh, small sided games, scoring or post finishing. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so so most of the session that we'd have is is, is a lot of small sided games, a lot of technical um, uh, exercises. Yeah. You know, not necessarily drills, mm. but but exercises where players have to to think, mm. where players are challenged, and 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 the game is is being taught through through their actions. Yeah. You know, through their actions, through what they are doing. Yeah. They are, they are learning about the game. That we must move. We must do this. Mm. You know, even if it's at low intensity, because maybe it's your play form one, meaning it's your first part of the session of mm. your main session. Mm. You know, so it's a play play form one, play form two, play uh, play form. Play form three. Yeah. Because I learned then when I did my, my D license. Mm. So now I understood progression. Yeah. Uh, even more, even better. Yeah. So yeah, so those are some of the things that we do. So we train like this, mm -hmm. a lot of small sided games, different types to to stimulate the players uh, 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 differently. And yeah, so so what we are very competent at, especially um uh, uh, under fifteen yeah. LSA yeah. was short passing, rapid short passing. Yeah. Because of this. Mm. I will, I will. Yo, yo, yo. You're killing it, and not just because, of it, but also because of my background. Yes, like Diambas, because yeah. even how I, 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 I guess scouted or, or assembled the team again was in relation to the the success we had at Diambas. So mm -hmm. I'm looking again. Success leaves clues, right? Mm. So I'm looking at okay, we had a player like Ayanda Rowana. Okay, Ayanda Rowana, you have him mm -hmm. at Diambas. Okay. LSA, you must get him to. Mm. We had a, so, so most of that team, where when I look at them, when I looked at them then, yeah. I saw Diambas through them. Mm. Like, okay, this this is who the, uh, at, at, at our team was. This yeah. is you know. So we 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 we, we trained a lot on 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 this space. Yeah. And, yeah, yeah. And speaking of 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 Mdu, who you know. We currently know um, yeah. just signed a three-year deal with yeah, Kaiser Chiefs yeah. and has gone on now to the first team. Yeah. How do you how do you discover him and how do you come across him? So I wouldn't say uh, discovered because he was already playing. Yeah, you know, and, and uh, people that where he was playing, people people knew him. Yeah, he already playing. So so what happens is now I'm assembling this team. Yeah. So to to be uh, uh, to let you know was the last player that I got. Mm. in the team so we 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 have this team and this, this team has um the team that i'm assembling now yeah we're in pre-season right mm. we're going to play in the gdl mm. so now gdl we're, we're playing in the promotion because now there's there's gdl a then there's mm. gdl b gdl yeah. b is is promotion to mm. gdl a so so you get into an environment where these people which was the management they want to win mm. they want to go to the gdl a mm. because they want to show people that hey uh, uh, we are we are developing football. Yeah. And because you know in South Africa, if you are winning, we are developing football. <laughs> so to them, they had to win. They yeah. had to win. So 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 so, so then I, I had pressured me to get to get good players. Yeah. But I thought I had a good team mm. before Mtutuzi came. Yeah. Then there's a one delay Duba, mm. which is his Dube, but we'll say Duba now because you know yeah. that's who he's known as. There's a one delay Duba who's not training well. Mm. Um, and he and not training well. To his standard, mm. to his standard, yeah. what, what I know he can do. Yeah. But he's not losing the ball. He's mm. okay. He's he's scoring goals at training and all of that. But I know he can take it to a new, yeah, another I level. Yeah. And and another coach there, in that situation, castigates the player, mm. right? Because I, I uh, Michael Lofman says this, which is powerful. He mm. says, when coaches can't find solutions, they blame the players. Ish. You know. So so another coach there says, Hey, Baba. Sabenza. Yeah. Uh, you know, you know? Yeah. But I could see that no man, there's something. And and uh, I asked him, you know, I said, okay, what's going on? What's happening? Mm. You're not training, you know. And he was honest. He said, mm. Coach, I don't think there's competition for me here. He says, ah, coach, I coach, I coach me and I. 
Mm. No, we are born on our coach. I don't even have to work hard, but things are simple. Things yeah. Are easy. I said, okay, it's fine. Yeah. We are supposed to play on the Sunday. It's mm. pre-season. So now it's fine. Cancel the game. I said, I'm going to scout. Mm. I was deliberate. I was intentional. Yeah. So I'm going to scout. But now where are you going to scout? I think I played a lot at White City. Mm. And what you get at White City is you get a lot of talented players, one. But again, most important thing, feature of players that you find at White City yeah. is character. Yeah. Character and strong mentality yeah. to win. Yeah. Yeah. Players from there want to win. Yeah. So I go there and... Um, um, there was a tournament. I see this kid taking free kicks. Oh, okay. Technique Ganji. At this age. 15. Yeah. Okay. And, you know, the things that we know now. Yeah. You know, he's receiving in, 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 in half spaces mm. and in between the lines. And yeah. He scans. He goes deep sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. There's something here. Mm. But but I don't I'm not taken by by that already. Yeah. Yeah. Not yet. Mm. What makes me then say I am this player I need mm. was when um after the game it's they go to penalties, mm. right? Penalty shoot that was a draw in the game. And Duduzi takes the the the, the goalkeeper t shirt, which was wrong because that means he undermines the the goalkeeper. Mm. But he takes the goalkeeper t shirt because he wants to go in goals. Yeah. He goes in goals. He saves two penalties. Yeah. I think to myself, this is a winner. Mm, there's character. Yeah. yeah, this is a winner. Because Lead, leadership. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At yeah, a yeah, young yeah, age. Yeah, 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 yeah. He wants to win this guy. Mm. And, and, and for, for, for what we were trying to do at that time at LSA, we needed someone like that. And also, again, one deal. So mm. I was like, okay, okay, it's fine. Mm. Then I, I immediately I go to Tutu's father. I speak to him and I said, look, He's not going to play too long here. Mm. I'm, I'm being honest with you. He's, he's, in this league that we're playing in against these clubs, they, they're going to take him. Mm. There's no way they're going to miss him. Yeah. And they missed him, but it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Don't yeah. understand. So, they, so, so yeah, uh, we, 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 I, I spoke to his dad. Yeah. And, he was support and there were a lot of people that wanted him to do that. Time. Yeah. So that's why his dad and I, even today, are very close. Yeah. We talk every week. Yeah. You know? Because he trusted me and, and the elevator pitch that I gave him and the plan that I had for, 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 for the boy and all of that, he, yeah. was, he, he bought it. He was yeah. sold. Like, okay, let's do this. And then, uh, yeah, so that's how I got him uh, a white seat. And then when he came back, the first session I remember, mm. uh, I did a 1v1 uh, session. Uh, we were doing endurance. Mm. So most of the things with, that I do in my belief in methodology is with the ball. Yes, you know? yes, yes, yes. Because I'm also a student of, of, of maximal training. Mm. And with that, you know, uh, that's a very big theme yeah. in, in maximal training, that to do a lot of things with the ball. Mm. So we did what, so they did, we we're doing 1v1s. Mm. And uh, of course, one did it do uh, uh, yeah. to go against him to do yeah. I'm telling you, fireworks. Yeah. Fireworks. People, there was a game that was playing, people stood, it was at night, people stood to watch these kids go at each other and no one won and the two two or something yeah. like that. So yeah, so that's how that's how I got him in uh Umdu mm. and he'd be yo mm. very, very important for us. Yeah. Very important player. Yeah. And now having to 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 to, to fit the, the pair of them in, yeah. How did that happen? And um what were you what were you looking to 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 do with regards to your shape tactically at that time? Uh, the whole team. Yeah, the whole okay. team, and then the role that you wanted. Um, the two of them. The two of them. Yes. Okay. Okay. So, so here, okay, we had a. Let's just do that. We had a tabi, So thanks, thanks. Because I know at home they'll be confused. <laughs> yeah. So we had a we had a tabi, so here. Yeah. Who we called him Edison. Yeah. Um, because he modeled a lot of Edison's, um, uh, you know technical ability, you know, yeah. he, had a, he, had a, he had a range of passing and, and accuracy that was phenomenal. Yeah. So we played, uh, again, remember when, when I started again, before finding myself, yeah. uh, I played in a formation that the, the one coach that I thought in my life was a very good coach to me, which yeah. our team played, which was a, a 4 3, three. Yeah. So, so where, where we had here was we had Mtutuzi, yeah. or here, and then we had one delay at that time was mm -hmm. was um, was a, an attacking mid as well. Yeah. So so what we wanted uh, for them was 
they'd always they'd always play here to receive here mm -hmm. right but to receive here to go into here yeah to create this this an overload of five versus um four yeah so that's so we wanted them to come here because they're very secure on the ball mm. so secure is fine either you said or whatever but when you come in here which was a lot of Totozi loved this even now he mm. loves this run you know so when he's here the good thing about umdu is that once he get into this position yeah. because of his uh, his creativity mm. he doesn't he doesn't play here or anything he'll likely when he's followed by this this guy here yeah. he'll beat him yeah. and come in here to either score either on his right foot yeah. or on his left he scored a lot of goals with his left foot yeah. or, or at times because he's very good at dribbling he'd receive here 10 him and i fought a lot about receiving here mm. and because we're very uh, uh, expensive yeah so mtutuzi like to come here <laughs> deep <laughs> play deep. there yeah exactly deep. yeah play there and then now he must arrive there and mm. it's so now in a in an actual sense it's somewhere the, the defense is somewhere around here yeah so mtuduzi comes in here because he wants the ball and yeah it's hard. gets the ball here plays it here it's too far yeah so what we what what we wanted to do with him because he was very good at running with with the running with the ball yeah was receive here ungal pass mm. get close with the ball because you mm. can run with the ball yeah right and then either Draw this guy out or create possibilities, but yeah. I come here with the ball because yeah. we need you close to the goal. Yeah. Whether you combine, whether you create an overload, it's fine. Yeah. But we want you here. Mm. So, so that's how we wanted to to use him uh, uh, and Wandile. But Wandile, Wandile was big for us because you could also play here, here as well. Wandile. Yeah. He was a top, 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 top screener. Yeah. Top, 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 top. Also very good on the ball. We played a game against uh, Sundowns and he was. Yeah. Top class, yeah. you know. So, but as a team, what we wanted to do again, we wanted to be uh, ex as expensive as possible when we have the ball. We wanted our players to to receive uh, in these in these uh, half spaces, yeah. uh, and then at times we'd have a, 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 a on our right. We we always had a, a double wide because of the attributes of this of arm. Yeah, he was good at going forward. He was good at committing and creating a 2v1 here in, yeah. in these areas but then on this side then we'd have uh, this player coming here so when you are taking oh, sorry okay. when you are no taking yeah. we have a um, a three one type of oh, rest defense structure when we yeah. when we are taking and then these players here they must they must get in here mm. into these these half spaces here make these runs you know yeah so, which was important so 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 in our build up as well we initially we, we wanted to uh, to to have this situation so that the opposition can can be forced into uh, into committing two players yeah because when you do this when you when you do this they are they are, if they, if if they are like this the opposition yeah right and you do this for the in the build up they are forced to to do this mm, at times yeah and then what this happens it, it it changes the picture overall picture of the team mm -hmm. because now especially at youth level they, they they are likely to be in flat lines yeah which is what we wanted mm. but we couldn't get that because most teams did not press us high mm. the, the, the line <laughs> of confrontation was was always yeah. a, a mid block so this player could receive somewhere here so we we play a lot around the press and mm. and then get to these players who are our key players then who run at, at, at players very important for us as well in any team that that i coached was these yeah. players they had to be la we have to we have to have the ability yeah to, to have speed to to have creativity and dribble and get behind uh, the, the defense because we used to isolate a lot mm. because in opposition if they want to be compact, it's fine. Then we receive comfortably. You can't be compact and 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 open at the same time. Yeah, you have to. In football, you are sacrificial one way or the other. Yeah. So if they if they do this, it's fine. Then we get this. Yeah. If they don't, it's fine. Still, this guy has time and space to 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 yeah. to, 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 to do whatever. Yeah. You know? So so that's what we are trying to do. But also. In terms of principles, we, we wanted to keep the ball. We were brave on the ball. Yeah. Short, rapid passing again. Yeah. You know? uh, so so those are some of the the things that we were trying to do there. You know. Yeah. 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 And what were some of the 
the, the challenges that uh, you had faced when you were currently there and um, working with your boys? Uh, the challenges was just the support mm -hmm. and, and the understanding of, of the process of uh, developing players. Yeah. Because my, my belief is that, yes, we, we want to, to win. It's an outcome of, of, of the game, even yeah. at youth level. Because naturally kids want to win. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You don't even have to tell them. There's mm -hmm. no team talk in my life where <laughs> all the best coaches I had told us that go go out there and win. Yeah. But we'd win. Yeah. Or we'll do it because mm -hmm. of the the preparation that we had yeah. in the week. So so the challenges we had was each the the management there they wanted us to to win and they were not they were not uh, supported because also again with the one field type of thing. Yeah. We, we had come with an idea to say, it's fine. Most teams at this level don't train four days a week. Mm. You know, it's, it's okay. But let's, let's now make a, do something in terms of yeah. uh, splitting the days. Maybe on a Monday and Wednesday, it's under 17 and 15. Then on a Tuesday and Thursday, it's the other age group. So that at least we do have a situation where we can have as much as we want to have the the the, the small space or small size games or whatever, but we also need this picture mm. as well for the players. Maybe if we're doing patterns of play and all of that, we need them to see that on the pitch, if I receive here, mm. you know, this guy here. Yeah. Is, because what, what patterns of play help with is that one, you can you can make players accountable mm. when you do patterns of play to say, hey, when you are here. This is what we, we, we are trying to do. Mm. But also it protects them to say, if, if, if M. Tutuz is not having a, a good game, at least he knows that the pattern is protecting him. Mm. Because even when he receives here, he knows, okay. He doesn't have to think about it. He doesn't have to be conscious about mm. it. Unconsciously he knows there's this player here. But we couldn't have that because, because uh, yeah. we didn't have... Uh, but 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 I I cheat a lot. Sometimes sometimes when when they don't when the club doesn't know on a Friday I call the boys agents. Mm. Let's come. Let's, yeah. let's go train. Mm. You know? uh, which wasn't against the the rules or anything. Yeah. Was the, if the players could come, they would mm. and they and they did and we'd have something like this. So the challenges at the club was that that um, they they wanted they wanted something but they were not you know too 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 keen. Yeah. To to assist on even the simple things, yeah. you know, like it's your field. Yeah. Help us. Let's yeah. just divide it like this, and we should be fine, you know. Mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So those those are the, some of the challenges, man. Yeah. And also, obviously, with the players, uh, because the players coming from Soweto, Loli, we, we didn't we have we had only two players from Lanasia yeah. at that time, which is where we were based. So players had to travel and all of that, and some players I had to out of my own pocket yeah. um, give them money to to and at that time I'm not working, I'm not earning yeah. there, you yeah. know. So that's why I always go back to saying. Producing a player is beyond a single individual mm. because some of these players who were produced or who are going to be produced by this group, even my mother herself had a hand and, yeah. because she'd give me money to give them money, mm. you know, and, 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 and yeah, so, so, so those are some of the challenges. Yeah. yeah. And then what were some of the joys? The players, man. Yeah. I worked with really good players. Yeah. I just, I had a, I had a really good team. Every mm. player here. In, in this, we had the Tabiso, we had, there's a player called Puluso. Yeah. Okay, so very and, short. And, and, and speaking of which, mm -hmm. you know, because I do know that this position in mm -hmm. world football, left-sided centre-back, yeah. rare commodity. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, rare commodity, yeah. especially when... A left-footed one. Yes, yeah, yeah. rare commodity. Mm -hmm. Especially when you're trying to build up and yeah, play out from yeah, the back. Sure. Definitely. You know, you yeah. always need somebody who, when they're opening up, yeah. they're taking it on their left foot. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's a progressive touch. Yeah, for sure. You know. Mm. Um, how important was he, and was he a left-footed player? No. Okay. He didn't have that. Uh, again, with us, the joy that we had was the, the line of, of confrontation yeah. not being too high. Yeah. So, so even if he's right-footed, he mm. still has kind time. of, yeah, come, yeah. Come. But we build a lot on this side mm. because we had, this was our strong side. Yeah. Our best players were, were, were the seer here from Piri. Yeah. Very good on one versus ones. We had Uam here, he was our captain. Yeah. He, was, he was strong, he was courageous. He, he could defend one versus ones well. Yeah. He had capacity to go up and down. Mm. And obviously we had him to do Zila as well. So we build up a lot. On the right on, side. On, on, on the right side because of our of our qualitative oh, superiority okay. on this side. Um, but still we knew that yeah. of course when you get into this era the ball could still get here mm. and then so on and so forth. Which which so, then explains why then you'd go 
into that shape yes, a lot yes. of the times. Yeah, 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 that's what we did. Yeah. That's what we did a lot of the times, for sure. Here in Oscar, he, he was good defensively, but yeah. he wasn't, his strong qualities were not to go forward. Mm. So, so this is what we'd have as our rest defense. Yeah. And then this guy, this guy double wide or, or, mm. or just hit inverts at yeah. times. Then here and then Tutuzi would be here because Tutuzi even receiving here was good because he can play that pass in here. Yeah. Yeah, so you, uh, you probably saw in the Compact Cup mm. the diagonal. Yeah. He's got the goal for well. Salim. Yes, yeah. He's got that as well in his locker. So we, we had a lot of uh, sort of suit in, in, in this space, which is where we were stored. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so the left, so the left center back, no, was right footed, but he could receive with his left. Part. We, 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 again, remember as I spoke this side, mm. we, we, we played a lot around. The yeah. Pass. So if he receives on the left and passes with his right, it's fine. We, 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 we can progress and go forward. So yeah, we had we had a good team. We had a good yeah. team. We had a we had a, um, a boy from KZN, Jabulu. Mm. Top, 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 top. And here we had Liam. And Liam did what Dubai is doing now very well. And mm. he do it as well. Because Dubai also played here. Mm. At the end of the season, he'd become the top goal scorer. Yeah. Of, of, in every season he's played, I don't know if it's recorded or whatever. But I think, I do think that in every season he's played in the GDL, he was top goal scorer. Whether for, for LSA or for Jose. Because even at Jose Stars, he mm. was scoring a lot of goals yeah. when he went there. So he liked to, he likes, even now, Dubai. Mm. You must, you must, you, you, you need to know that if there's one player right now in football that can't be marked, mm. is this guy. Yeah. Because if the ball is, uh, what's the ball? Yeah. If the ball is here, Duba, Duba doesn't like this and a lot of forwards like this. Mm. He always comes in here <laughs> in a mixed yeah. position. And yeah. if he's here, these guys don't know who mm. to pick him up. Even at the engine, they, were, they had the same dilemma. Yeah. The, players, the Sundowns players. Nobody knows uh, uh, who to pick him up because this is where he comes. Yeah. And if he's here, he can still also go there or, 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 or whatever. But he's always, he always receives freely. Yeah. Uh, one delay. And even then, he used to do that yeah. uh, very well. So, so yeah, we had, a, yeah. We, had a, we had a good team. We had a good team. Yeah. yeah, we're a good team. And, and, and at that time then, because um, like you mentioned, you've got a very good team. You guys are playing an expansive brand of football. You've yeah. got very young players. Yeah. And, um, you know, the elephant in the room is obviously yeah. the fact that you're playing against better teams. Yeah, for sure. You know, and obviously when you play against these teams, mm. they're looking at your boys. Yes. You know, so what, what was that like when some of them now were starting to get the attention of the bigger teams? So there was the actually the, the reason I got into that club mm. uh, or that that academy was yeah. was because of that was their vision mm. to say we want to use this league to give mm. these boys from that region mm -hmm. or whatever an opportunity to play in the bigger teams. Yeah. So a lot of teams that play in that league that's their that's their modus operandi oh, to yeah. say. To say if you have the best players when playing in the GDL, they can get scouted and maybe mm. others, maybe late after, mm. they can get uh, development fees and things like that. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, so, so that was the idea. So that's what we wanted. Every mm. time, that was the, the motivation, even mm. in, the, in the locker room, that was the conversation. I, I, my team had the, the most commitment in the academy because of the type of environment micro environment our our own environment yeah. that, we, we, that we tried to create which was yeah. which was a hyper success uh, ambitious uh, uh, type of environment yeah. where i was clear to all of them that i picked you guys because you remind me of this team mm. and this team played in in a in a in a top uh, academy where they have an opportunity to go overseas. Yeah. So if you guys are here and then all of you guys have the ability and potential yeah. to get to the clubs that you want to get to, and the academy wants to help you do that. Yeah. So the whole idea behind it was actually to give them the opportunity. That's why we play them mm. because uh, uh, in football, uh, if you play against these academies, or even if a good player, he, no one accept Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? I wanna play hey, college. Hey. College. I did love it. Yeah. I wanna play it because yeah. if, if if people have, have an opportunity to to to, to help him ascend, mm. he'll do that and, and, and he'll go. So you can't mm. have an idea an idea or or a stance to say, uh, hi. Uh, we don't, we're not going to give our players <laughs> away. And people try that, but it doesn't work. Mm. It doesn't work. So, so that's what we wanted. And yeah. the more they, they were seen, 
uh, the more it happened. Yeah. Um, but unfortunately, even how some of them went on to 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 get to these clubs, mm. you know, it, uh, you know, I had to be in their face and say, hey man, there's this boy. Yeah. Because we can do as well. I had to say, he is, say hey, yeah. he is yeah. given my chance. But they were not. They were not. Uh, uh, which is strange. They were not picked from, from or, or noted from from playing for the team. You know, mm. yeah. So with you having to um, institute a lot of that persuasive action, yeah. What was the first time like, and which club were you speaking to at that time? So, so at that time, um, I had I had uh, I had left the. Um, the academy mm. um, because uh, yeah, it just doesn't it, it wasn't the right um, space for me you know in terms of mentally and even some of the things that that the players had to go through um, you know so so I left mm. uh, and after leaving um, now you leave and you brought players mm. and the parents are saying Utatumtanam Mm. So I'm she, mm. you know. So that's why I, I was most of the coaches that I knew at that at that academy left. So I was I was the last one to leave mm. because of the the commitment I'd made to the parents and mm. things like that. So 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 when I'd left, then uh, uh, which was at the end of the season, the parents said, "Okay, look, um, they can't go back there." Because you left for a reason, mm. so you must help them. Mm. Uh, you know, get to 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 better clubs or whatever. And also, with uh, particularly with Ntutuzi's father, I had actually told his mm. father that this is the plan for him. So I had to uh, follow through with that. Yeah. So I was so so I didn't. And at that time, I'm I'm, I'm new in the game. Yeah. I don't know people <laughs> as a coach. Yeah. And all of that. Uh, I'm just starting out, so I didn't know anyone. So. So, so even with with him to I I didn't speak to the coaches or anything. Mm. Right? I tried to get getting coach Arthur's number. Mm. No, it didn't work out. Uh, but what we, but how we started was we went to he went he was actually supposed to play for Palashos Tutuzi, mm. mm. Palashos Academy, right? Because that was the the the, the, the academy that was willing to have him. So he went there. Uh, so a, a, a colleague of mine had organized for him to go there because he had also left that colleague. Mm. So he says, ah, coach, uh, take him to Palacios. Uh, they'll have him there. I know the coaches. Everything is fine. He goes there. First training session, he scores three goals <laughs> at Palacios. Mm. And I'm thinking to myself, yes, that's this kid. At under 17, mm. he's 15. Mm. He scores three goals at under 17. Yeah. And they want him. They're like, hey, baba, hey, yeah. hey, hey. You know, Palacios is in excited, is interested, yeah. you know. And uh, and now I'm I'm calm now I'm happy I'm mm. at ease because okay. you know that I least. can go back to the parents and say Ish, who Palashos and, and at that time I don't I don't know at that time I'm thinking Palashos and pirates are still mm. uh, uh, together you know uh, I didn't know that pirates had a relationship with Randberg at, uh, at that time I didn't know so 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 I'm thinking. He, this is going to, going to be his way to get into Orlando Pirates, mm. like your Azola Chobeni, like mm. all of the players that came from yeah. Palacios and went to, to, to Pirates. Uh, and then the following week, I'm home now, I'm not coaching. Mm. Uh, they call me to do Zagazangi training. Oh. Why? Why not go mm. to his house? Not. Mm. I coach me now, I'm full of up. How? Why? I mm. coach now, Bonnie. That's too easy. How? We are at an academy where you didn't even have space to train. Yeah. We trained in a, in a quarter of the of a pitch. Yeah. Now you at this big academy and yeah. it's too easy. Then mm. I nah, coach. I said, okay, what do you want? I said, mm. coach, I want to go to Kaiser Chiefs. Mm. Said, okay. At that time, I don't know anyone. Yeah. So, which is another important thing that it, it, a lesson of mine uh, or life or mantra is that the resources are not important. Mm. The resourcefulness Ish. is very important because then I didn't know anyone, but mm. I had to. I had Fight. to. I had to find some ways and some, you know. And, uh, and then I'd say yeah, I'd speak to Ayanda, Ayanda Rwana, who was influential. I say, mm. "Fit, nintwana ya milana man, kwa duwe leta and mm. all of that." Is I, I described to him as you know when you're pitching, like, mm. how you don't. Yeah. Superstar. <laughs> like ah, like ah, I trust you, dog. You come mm. from. We come from the same academy. If you say he's mm. a good player, he's a good player, I'll speak to Coach Tidi so to and then mm. I spoke to him. Then um, yeah, then I took him there and yeah, that's how. So so 
so that's how I I I then um, got him there. Mm -hmm. But then with with one one deal as well, mm -hmm. um, with him it was different because again I don't know people. I just got Mtutuzi uh, uh, to to be a Chiefs. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not easy to go back and say, Ish no more, you yeah. Know, you know? I'm <laughs> yeah. thinking, yeah, I, how are you going to do see, this? You know, so mm. I think at that time there was a panorama, but panorama was, was we thought it was TS Galaxy because they played mm. tournaments with, as TS Galaxy kid. I think they had a relationship at the time, we didn't know, but it was too far. Mm. So, so then I was like, Look, you know what? Um, I know how good you are. Uh, what I can do is I can't help you if you're not playing in the league of the clubs that you want them to see you. Mm. So the only way I can help you is I, if I can reference your, your yourself to them mm. that they can see your performances. Yeah. yeah. So I said so I took him to to Jersey Stars. Mm. I go uh, coach Tabo, who's a friend of mine, and Yumna, uh, the lady that that runs the club. But I'd, I'd go and take him there and say, look. He's a good player, mm. and was Coach Boyza as well, a friend of mine, and Coach Bryce. Coach Bryce Peterson coached him there uh, in that under 17. So I took him there. He was 16, and then I'd start talking to people when he was playing. Oh, so when he okay. scored, yeah. I'm like, hey, hey, that's certain club, hey, mm. look, that's the boy, hey. Mm. So that, so that, so even how he then ended up uh, uh, achieves was something like that. You know, someone, the person that organized for him to go, who spoke to Coach. Uh, well, I was someone I'd been speaking to and telling, mm. hey, this boy, this boy, mm. this boy, he's scoring, he's a top goal scorer and all of that. Yeah. So, yeah, 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 yeah. that's how it went. Yeah. yeah. And when you when you look at the, the both of them, nah? we'll start with um, Owandi. What makes him a special player and yeah. how far do you think he can go? Owandi Le Wan, uh, in terms of his, his physical, just physical makeup, mm. you know, is a specimen, he's strong. Yeah. Uh, so, so, so as a as a forward, you know that he can he can protect the ball, but also he's very agile. Mm. So, so in terms of making runs either here or here, you know, he's going, there's a goal he scored at Barroca where Duduzi. So it was a situation like this: two bank of four, I think. Uh, yeah, I think the 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 fullback was forward. Duduzi cheated here. He was supposed to be here, so he was here. Mm. One deal again in a mixed position was here. Mm. So the, the defenders are here. It was poor rest defense from them yeah. in, that, in that goal, the clip that I saw, and and the ball was won somewhere in this area, and it was played here. Mm. So Chiefs were in a defensive. Uh, they were defending. Yeah. So they were in a block. So in a block, uh, they play with the three, so so yeah, it's fine. Let's do this, and uh, yeah, yeah, something like this. Yeah, ne? something yeah, something yeah, it was here, something yeah. like this. So these ones were, were pushed, had pushed up. These ones had pushed up. So don't get the two was left here, mm. right? So there's a there's this bank here. Uh, and, and and these four players, because Barroca were in position, were yeah. in position in, in the clip. And the ball is won somewhere here, I think, by Usile. And Sisle's first decision is Ntutuzi here. While, while this is happening, mm. Ntutuzi starts here. Mm. And intelligently just walks here, mm. just to be uh, behind the slide yeah. and create a 2v2 here. Yeah. Someone wins the ball, I think Sitlo, whoever wins mm. the ball, first decision is to play it there. Yeah. Now, now, again, one delay, drop deep, mm. deep. So there's this space here, here, and even here. Yeah. He plays a bounce pass and do one touch, plays it in here. And one delay from here outruns these guys here. Yeah. So, so he's, one of his two qualities is, is he, he, out, he can outsmart and because uh, coming in here again it's it's intelligent, intelligent yeah. movement but also running so in terms of his speed as well he's he's top and also he's very comfortable on the ball yeah because with us he played as a defensive mid he plays as, as an attacking mid as well mm. so so he can create goals as well mm. as much as maybe a lot of people see him playing here because he loves he loves to score mm. but he can he can play here and he can he can create goals yeah and um and to do that, I think you can tell us. Yeah. <laughs> I think I think it's better when it comes from you. I think I think you can tell us. You've seen. You know? uh, yeah. Uh, a very 
important thing uh, about Mtutuzi's insight. Yeah. And uh, insight informs your decision making. Mm. So insight is, uh, uh, is is how well you know the game. Yeah. Mtutuzi knows the game very well. Yeah. So that that's why most of his decisions are are, are proper. Mm. He knows when he wherever he receives where the pressure is coming from and what decision to then do. And I think Coach Rani mentioned something about the end, the mm. outcome. He sees those pictures. Yeah. See so if I'm here or whatever. This is what's going to happen, yeah. and he initiates those types of type of yeah. things. And obviously, the the normal uh, 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 things that people see, dribbling, he's mm. very you know agile. Mm. Uh, uh, also bilateral mm. passing and shooting. Yeah, he can shoot. There's a goal he scored. I think his best goal for, for some people will be against Royal AM. Mm. Where he receives on the somewhere on this side, and of yes, yes. <laughs> and they can go right. Yeah, yeah. He's, there's a goal he scored, LOD2, yeah. playing for, for my team. Mm. Uh, so, again, he loves this run. Mm. So, in the first half of that game, no? playing in Loli 2, there's U Usitle Tat as well. Yeah, uh, in my team, mm. very, very good boy, good player. Mm. Uh, the opposition um, score first, so it's two, it's two, it's one nil. Yeah. Game. So, so Mdu was playing as a false nine, ne? Mm. but Mdu as a false nine doesn't want to be even be here. Yeah. He wants to come <laughs> here, he wants the ball, yeah. you know? So we were playing a lot in front of the, of the opponents, which wasn't hurting them. Yeah. So the instruction in the second half, especially from Mdu, we, we changed the structure a bit. We went with a, a striker yeah. who pins the center backs, mm. which was Mkanyi Soma Posa. Yeah. Then we had a, a winger who also be here. We had another, one of the best players I've coached in my life, mm. phenomenal, mm. but he's not young. Mm. So w when I started coaching at senior team at Mufas, there's a mm. player called Mzambi. Mm. So Mzambi is left footed. Yeah. So Mzambi, when there's pressure here, obviously he goes in here, but not to go and score, mm. to, to remember these guys are pinned. Mm. And Tuduzi goes, because he loves, again, he loves this, mm. this type of movement. So in that goal, uh, Mzambi receives here, makes a pass to Mtutuzi who makes a run in behind, uh, uh, no, no, in behind the fullback. Mm. And again, he gets followed. Ha. When he gets here, <laughs> shiny Val. Mm. And, and uh, no, it wasn't even here. He was somewhere here. Yeah. So he was in a position to, to score. Yeah. You know? And I'm on the bench. It's, it's, it's one knee. I'm saying, shoot. Shoot. You yeah. Know? Ah, he closes it. <laughs> shiny Val. <laughs> shiny Val, he scores. Oh, I've never seen something like that. Yeah. A, a killer with his left foot mm. here. Crowd erupts. Mm. Everyone just comes in. Yeah. Oh. You know? And yeah. So, 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 so. And a, a lot of people maybe have, have not seen that, but left and right. Yeah. Left, yeah. Comes to, seen you've that. seen, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Comfortably left and right. So, mm. so yeah, man. And, and just, uh, I was speaking to a, a, a colleague of mine and we were speaking of profiling, that a lot of the times we profile players in terms of what they can do on and off the ball, mm. but we don't profile them in terms of their personalities. Mm. And Tutuze's personality was was a, is a big thing uh, for me because yeah. he's a shy boy. He, he off, off the pitch, he doesn't talk much or anything. But in terms of his character, winning mentality, sure. Yeah. There are a lot of games where he won the game for us solely. Yeah. Solely won the game for mm. us. So, so yeah, 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 yeah. He's, he's, those are some of the attributes uh, yeah. of, 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 of him too. But uh, more, 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 more than anything, his insight, yeah. his game intelligence is, is, is phenomenal. Yeah. yeah. And you mentioned that Real AM game. And yeah. for me, um, I'd watched a bit of him and yeah. I thought, okay, this is a, this is a very for good sure. player. But where I saw that, okay, this is mm. a special player, mm. It's not even a goal which, because I, I look at other things, you know, and it's a touch. It's exactly so. It's it's not yeah, even yeah, yeah. it's not even a goal which I mean he scored a hat trick on the yeah, day. Yeah, yeah. There's it's, one here. Yeah. There's the, one. He makes yeah, a deep run, yeah, yeah. finishes off. Finishes. But the goal that stood out was the, the header. The dodge, ne? And the reason why it stands out yeah. for me is because first of all he's short. Yeah. He's small, and mm. you know, mm. and a lot of small players. Um, uh, and players who have his attribute, yeah. they always want to come here. Yeah. But when a player is willing to go to do then, that yeah. and also receive in the Again. I'd never, I'd never, there's not too many at that level you see doing that. Insight. You know, 
And for me, after I saw that, that was my favorite goal. Yeah, yeah. You know, definitely. out of all the goals he scored, yeah, yeah. that's my favorite. My favorite as well uh, of those goals. You know, a lot because of people like the one. Yeah, but, they like but the, this. The other one is it's top. Point. That is what showed me that he's going far. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. amongst all other things. Because, yeah. first of all, awareness. Yeah. Looking at the player who's on the ball. Mm. When that pass is about to be made, identifying the space, timing. he's looked, timing. Mm. And then I knowing that run. once he gets into here, here, I don't have many touches. Yeah, yeah. What am I doing? Understand. And exactly, already knowing that, okay, I must place. Where am I placing? Yeah. So all of those things. Understanding the field. Understanding. Yeah. Scanning. And which is a lot of players in, in, in our country don't, don't, don't have because of maybe the coaching uh, mm. that needs to improve from all of us. Yeah. From all of us at all levels. Yeah. But also a lot at, 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 at grassroots. A lot of our players... Um, are very good, mm. but they have very little, uh, not all of them, but some of them have very... Uh, Limited? They, 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 they have a deficiency in, mm. in understanding mm. the, the game. Mm. You know, that's why when you get a player who's 19, uh, who played only maybe uh, a Garci or whatever, yeah. And maybe wasn't exposed to 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 good coaching. Don't get me wrong; there are fantastic coaches coaching. Mm. I guess I mean I'm one of them. Mm. Uh, uh, but 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 you get some who are 19 who are just it's just a raw talent. And mm. at 19, it can't just be unfortunately mm. where where the game is. It can't just be a raw talent. You mm. know. So so I think again he he understands the the game yeah. you know far better than a lot of players yeah. that we have in this country even at, at senior level yeah is, is in, insight is, is top yeah and um you spoke about one dealer that um he he could play one dealer could play there yeah, he could yeah. play there but we currently see him yeah, playing yeah, yeah, as a striker, yeah, a striker yeah. so that's one dealer's best position yeah. what is his best position because we've seen him come off this side that yeah. side uh half space occupation yeah. is great He's got attributes of a player who can play as a false nine. What yeah. do you think his best position is? His best position would be because would be a ten in a in a four three three or four three or four two three one. Yeah. So in a four two maybe. Yeah. Three one. Yeah. Because then he can roam here. Yeah. In all of these 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 uh, uh, channels, and yeah. he can still make the runs because he loves this run in behind yeah. the footback, but also on 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 both, both sides. sides. Yeah. Because if he's playing as a maybe right uh, maybe right winger mm. or, or, or right inside winger, then he, in terms of pos the positional play principles, he may just be limited mm. to actions only in this part of the field. Yeah. You know. But for me, if he's a at that time, because you know players grow and all of that, but at, at that time for me, as a ten, as a just sole number ten, yeah, yeah, he's, he's here. But also in a in a four three three, he can also play there still yeah. as a ten. But maybe this guy must be more of a controller, not mm. a not a, not a not a ten. Mm. So maybe you play with a six, and this eight. guy eight and ten. Yeah, and still he still you know gets the freedom to move and, yeah. and create situations to to score in this area so so i think for me as a 10 that's that's his best position yeah um chiefs play with the back three mm. so even if you play with the with the back three or whatever if you can if he can play as a as a as a 10 yeah as a, as a you know someone yeah. who's not limited uh, just to a certain space on the field yeah. then then he he, he thrives because at that time during the past season that's where i would mostly see him yeah. because you know um, right. be a three, four, three. Yeah. yeah, he'd be coming off, yeah. coming off the right side, yeah. and because of his intelligence, yeah. he likes drifting yeah, wide, yeah, 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 and he, he can take, yeah, yeah. he can take players on, Isolate you know. And yeah. like you mentioned, that um, a, a lot of players at that age they don't have that 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 capacity to to be able to see the game differently. Yeah. So as a right-footed player in these situations, a lot of the yeah. times they're looking to always go on the outside or yeah, take it. Yeah. But what he's good mm. at, he can also come here exactly. and then play a pass. Play a pass there. You know? Exactly. He has that pass. Yeah. Here. So he gives yeah. you a lot of, you know, and he understands because he, he, he reads the game 
the, the, the context of the game yeah. very quick to say, okay, yeah. these ones, this is what they want to do. Okay. And then he knows mm. where to go. And, and that's why most yeah. of the times he, he becomes effective. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. So after that time, you had managed to um, ensure that some of your boys found teams. Yeah. You are now sitting at home. What, 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 was, what were you going through at that time? And yeah. um, were you trying then to get back into the thick of things with regards yeah. to trying to get... Um, uh, a, a role at a certain a club, club yeah. or were you just sort of in a period where you felt you know what let me take some time away from the game yeah. what was going through you so so uh, at that time uh, I was I was doing my my C license mm. then after yeah. I was home doing my C license and then uh, one of the my my former colleagues at at Lens mm. who coached the the under 19s uh, coach Ayanda Butele has been very phenomenal in my life. Uh, he then says, look, um, come to Pirimovas, you know, uh, not many, there's not many resources and all of that, but, but it, it will be a good challenge for you mm. because you, you say you want to coach one day at the highest level, yeah. come coach senior players who will challenge you. Yeah. Uh, like I said, one of them being Umzambi, uh, mm. well known in Soweto, very good player. Mm. And I'm going in there young, coaching players who are my peers, mm. who are older. And, um, and some, some maybe know me from playing, they know <laughs> he wasn't even a good player. <laughs> Yeah, just coach her. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? So I had to be top. I had to, I had to yeah. know what I'm talking about. Yeah. So then, while doing my C license, I complete my C license. Obviously, I have to coach. Mm. And then Coach Ayanda invites me to his club. And then we start working together. I assist him in the SAP coaching mm. um, peer removers, mm. you know. And senior team, SAP. Uh, I, was, I was his assistant. But I always say that uh, uh, I know them the scope of what co-coaching is because of him yeah, yeah. I, I was a co-coach yeah. yeah i was his by 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 what the chairman had said and i was the assistant but he gave me so much freedom mm. you know he he asked me a lot he like when the game started he'd ask me are you taking the first half or second half meaning who stands mm. half time team talk he'd say i coach yeah you know team talk and all of that and it, and, and that, that and that really helped mm. me you know, grow. so yeah, so then I'd go to, to move us and then, uh, yeah, man, doing move us and also doing projects. So I was coaching mm. uh, at schools as well, mm. and which is where I got, uh, you know, we players get scouted. Myself as a coach, I got scouted then yeah. by, by Dreamfield's project, which mm. is then uh, where I start doing um, a, lot of, a lot of projects around you know, the country that would, that would help me develop more yeah. as an individual because now it's not just about me, but I have to help other coaches. Mm. So that now means I must work harder because yeah. if, we, if I'm going to co tell Coach Loyola that maybe try doing this or that, I must know how to substantiate it, mm. you know, um, uh, very well. So yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. And, and what was the transition like um, with regards to adaptation? Because yeah. you go from um, having these young boys yeah who generally, you know, because we, we are Africans after yeah, all. Yeah. So when not Konumutum Tal, you know, you know that hey, I must respect yeah. him, you know. Yeah. How is that transition like going from coaching these young boys, yeah. you know, who would take in, who would absorb yeah. information. They would yeah. never even really question yes, you. Yes, yes. To now going to coaching guys who are either your age or older than you. Yeah. What was the adaptation process like there? I think what made the adaptation process for me to be to not be too 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 difficult was my my experience at, at LSA mm. because remember yes at LSA I'm coaching young players mm. but I'm coaching very good players mm. so even that in itself is a big challenge for me in mm. terms of session design in yeah. terms of what you say because because again inside they know the game mm. so they can <laughs> tell what so every day I'm like hey I hope you could you know mm. you, you always evaluate was this the right information or mm. because of also as much as they're young they'd come from being coached by other coaches so yeah. they, they have a good idea I mean even them do it in some games after the games they'd come to me and say I'll be a wrong coach <laughs> you know so, so, so yeah. even there, you, 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 I, I, I was, they, they, even they prepared me mm. about one deal. As much as they were young, they challenged me. And, yeah. and, and, and so, 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 so going into the, the transition, what helped me was the players that I was working with, one, 
had an idea where I'd come from. Mm. To say, hey, Lengwe Nyale, be, be na le team lea, na 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 na. Mm. So maybe there's something here. Yeah. You know, let's give him a chance. Yeah. But also, Coach uh, Ayanda facilitated it very well uh, because he's, they, he's older, so they have a lot of respect for him. So mm. if they are going to disrespect me, then they're disrespecting him mm. kind of thing. Yeah. So, so, so then, but also with the sessions, um, which I which I think I was I, I was and still am very strong in. Um, they 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 started to enjoy the sessions, mm. uh, not because they were better than coach I under sessions, but they were different. And yeah, they were, and they were different in the sense that they were different, but they were also good. Mm. So it's not just different, but it's just nothing. But it's yeah. different, but it's good. Yeah, and and he gave me like again, he gave me the platform to say I'm good. Shai session mm. you know. And and that's how I got to to, yeah. to have an understanding and get the buy-in from the players. That even today they still say, "Hey, coach, coach, what's going on?" And we still talk, you know. So yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. So so it wasn't it was it wasn't a very uh, it wasn't too too difficult for me to transition. Uh, coach Ayanda helped me yeah. in that transition for me to 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 hold my own yeah. against players that I, I I myself as players admired to say, hey, mm. "These are good players." I was ball. So yeah, yeah. Yeah, and um, I think the beauty then with your journey mm. is that um, you've been a youth development coach. Yeah. You've worked um, with the seniors mm. as well. So what, what, what are some of the challenges that um, youth development coaches in, in South Africa, the one, the guys you've come across, your yeah. colleagues, yeah. you know, your peers, the guys you, you communicate with, what are some of the challenges that they currently face, yeah. especially considering where the game is right yes, now in yes. South Africa? I think... I think um, the the common one is will be the resources, mm. uh, very limited resources, uh, at that level, uh, and and at, and at times the resources are not limited because they are not there, mm. but it's because maybe it's not the most urgent thing, mm. and that's a that's a, a big, I think thing in in our football that that development football is not. And that's why we, I think, one of the reasons we have we have a lot of problems progressing because it's not the most urgent thing. Mm. Like, no, the most urgent thing is the seniors and all of them. Yeah. Uh, at, 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 at most times, you know. But also, it's again the badges, man. Mm. You know, mm. getting getting coaching badges mm. in is is is, 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 a, is a huge challenge. And not to say you can only coach with the coaching badge. The coaching badge helps you in terms of accreditation, yeah. it helps you in terms of organization. Mm. Coaching course, that, that, that in terms of organization, it will help you a lot, yeah. you know, but it doesn't make you a great coach. Yeah. You know, but it's, it's, a, it's, it's, impo it's an important thing in, 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 in our uh, environment to, 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 to have, you know, and it's hard. And people think, even on Twitter, people think that get, 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 getting a, a coaching badge is like, getting a degree mm. where if you can afford and if you are eager to do it you can just go to suffer house and mm. study there and it doesn't work like that you know yeah. you can you can wait to do a course for five years mm. or four you know i've done I, I i've been waiting to do my b license for for four years now Jeez. you know so so it's unlike university where after doing your undergrad you can just following year you can do mm. your 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 honors and masters so so mm. that's that that's another challenge that that uh, youth coaches face um, mm. in our environment is just getting the, the the qualifications. But also another another important thing, challenge that that we have is mentorship. Mm. I think mentorship is important. It is you know, for me. For me, some of the mentors that I have, and I consider myself lucky. Uh, one because of the set of circumstances that that I've had in my life and my, in my journey have led me to to some people, you know. But I, I not not everyone will have it how I had it in in, in that regard, mm. you know. So I think I think um, you know a lot of coaches that that's a challenge that they have because they we we they need that that. Mm that that guidance you know mm. because what mentorship does is that it, it allows you to start on the front foot yeah you know i understand making your own mistake you're still going to make your own mistake yeah. whether you have mentorship or not yeah right but if you have good mentorship you start on the fr front foot and 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 you it just facilitates it just helps you it's a springboard yeah you know Mentorship is not just a sounding board where you go to a mentor and say, hey, yeah. I think it's also a springboard. Mm. It, it also just, you know, elevates you. Yeah. So those, those are some of the, I think, some of the principles, uh, so some of the challenges, challenges that, yeah. that are faced. Um, yeah, so. 
but, yeah. but we'll be fine. Yeah. yeah. So currently, um, you find yourself at, at Dreamfields. Yeah. Um, how is that like? And yeah. uh, what are the day-to-day -day runnings of your, your schedule? Yeah. So, so at, at Dreamfields, uh, so Dreamfields is a, a Dreamfields project. Yeah. It's a project that does soccer and uh, netball development in uh, rural areas. Yeah which is why I fell in love with it, mm. you know, um, because if we here are, 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 are gutted to not have opportunities, for example, to get empowered in terms of uh, badges and, and workshops and things yeah. like that, imagine a coach in, in rural areas. Ish. It's, it's, it's far worse. Yeah. Right? So they do that. Mm. So they go there, they do, and soccer development meaning they do clinics for players, mm. they do uh, workshops. So they, I'm, I'm, I'm not a full time Dreamfields employee. Mm. So, so they call me when they need me, but if they call me a lot of times when mm. they have anything to do with technical work, yeah. whether it's a workshop, whether it's a it's a coaching clinic for young boys, mm. whether it's anything that is that related to that, they call me. Mm. Um, so we have projects in all across South Africa except yeah. Cape Town, uh, Northwest, and Eastern Cape. Yeah, you know, and they are funded. So it's an it's, it's an NGO. They are funded yeah. by 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 different uh, uh, sponsors. So yeah. so yeah, that has been a fantastic experience to engage with a lot of coaches. It has grown my network. You mm. know that. I can, I, I'm in a position where I can get a, a player, for example, in, in KZN without having to be in KZN. Yeah. Uh, because of the type of investment we've made in coaches. Mm. And also, now if you make a good investment in coaches, then you're making an investment in the players. Mm. And also, when you now when you speak to a coach and say, coach, this is a player that I'm looking for. And the coach, after a while, calls you back and say, I have a gem. Mm. You, you, you heed that call and say, I've in, we've invested in this person, so we, charge, we, we trust. We have to mm. trust the judgment that what we've put in, that coach does have the, the, the nows to, 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 to give us the right player. So, so it has helped us with that, with the footprint of, of players, of coaches, yeah. all across uh, South Africa, except obviously the, the, the provinces that I mentioned. So, mm. so yeah, it's been, it's been amazing. It's been amazing. I've gotten a lot of support yeah. from, from the guys in terms of understanding the, the football management, not coaching, but in terms of administration of football yeah. you know, because that's what it is. And I've, yeah. I've learned a lot about that. And, and I've met a lot of people yeah. uh, through, through the project, Jerus Kosana, who I would then become an analyst at his club, uh, Hollywood Thunder. Mm. Well, I met him through yeah. uh, 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 Dreamville's project. So it, 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 yeah. it has been a very, very, very important feature in, 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 in my journey so far. Yeah. yeah. And um, I, I like that because then it, it shows me the, 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 the footballing brain that you have, which is quite a broad one and holistic, yeah. you know, because you've been a coach, you've had to go scout yourself, yes. you've been an analyst. Yeah, yeah. So you understand the game yeah, from yeah, yeah. a much broader perspective, yeah, you know, yeah. which I think is, is something yeah, which yeah. is very key. But you spoke yeah. of um, networking yeah. and um, meeting, meeting other coaches yeah. as well, which are some of the coaches that you've met that have um, impacted um, sort of the way you look at the game? Um, in terms of training, mm. I think one coach that stands out that has really changed how I look at training mm. and the detail that has to mm. go into coaching, uh, to training, uh, session design and deliver, yeah. the flow, yeah. the, uh, you know, the, the, the intervals, mm. all of that, the, those, those min seemingly minute details were yeah. very important. His coach, uh, Selegeri, Selegeri Mukhali, mm. uh, I think you know him as the godfather. Yeah. He's been... Coach Slick. Slick, yeah, yeah Slick, yeah, you know him. So he's, he's been phenomenal that he, he'll call me you know, sometimes I think he, some of the things that, some of the thoughts that he has, because uh, he has a mad scientist to him, mm. you know, he has a teeming brain, he'll call me and say, hey, agility, man, you know, this and that mm. and that and that. I'm, I'm asking myself, why are we doing, you know, mm. so he's so detailed, he's so detail oriented and, 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 and he has helped me a lot in terms of just training uh, the players. But, also, but in terms of the game, tactics, Snetemba Padela, mm. uh, Coach Temba, yeah, big mm. for me, big, 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 big for me. He's, he he has been 
you know uh very important in that aspect as mm. well um there's a there's this coach tando zule as well mm. uj in mm. terms of analysis yeah, yeah, yeah. sharp he's, he's with kosafa he's with bafana now yeah. sharp 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 mind in terms of not just analysis but also because he's a coach as well it's just also coaching but yeah. but tactically tactically yeah. he's one of the best people that i i know and and that I've met in my life and that I've assisted in that respect um, mm. and then yeah man, and also coach Olisi mm. Olisi Mgomezule as well in terms of again um, uh, profiling players yeah yeah he's helped me a lot to mm. say okay you say this player is good okay why is he good yeah uh, uh, in which club will he be good mm. you know just that detail yeah to say, how do you profile players mm. he has helped me a lot um, yeah i mean there is there are a lot of coaches yeah <laughs> simon at pirate as well in terms of detail yeah detail detail, yeah. detail. simon very is key very detail oriented mm. um, yeah man and and uh, another one i have to mention uh just in terms of having the passion and the right relationship with players mm. is uh tidiso Tidiso Litulunyan achieves phenomenal. I've never seen such passion in a South African coach. Yeah. And I steal that from him, you mm. know, because uh yeah, we have to be a, a thief of 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 the, the good things. Yeah, yeah. You have to steal that. <laughs> yeah. So I'm like that, yeah, I steal yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm Kevin Johnson. Kevin Johnson, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Stealing yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm yeah. a thief. I'm a thief of, of such things. Yeah. Yeah, yeah for sure. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. So let's go into um two of my favorite segments uh, the first one is coach's corner okay and then the second one is uh, best 11 but we'll start with the coach's corner so in your coach's corner coach's corner you're gonna put me in trouble eh? yeah <laughs> you know what i was to wrong and far you said it <laughs> <laughs> that is it. Yeah, but because because it's you, I'll, yeah, I'll, 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 I'll give it to you. I'll so in your coach's corner, yeah. I need I need I need um, mm. you, your top five South African coaches of all time, and this is your top five. Yeah. So it's not necessarily um, a, yeah. a coach who might have won the yeah, most, yeah, but yeah, it's yeah. just in your view of okay. coaching. Yeah. You know who's your top five? Okay, uh, you have to have Pito. Mm. Pito Msimani, yeah. of course, I think. Is a winner. Yeah. Uh, I think he's done a lot. Mm. Um, and also um, longevity. Yeah. You know, you know, to be in the game for that long and be successful. Is, yeah. Yeah. It's it's a Herculean task. It's not it's not easy. Uh, I'd have Roland Mugwena there mm. for sure. I think. Yeah. I think it's a brilliant brain. Mm. It's a brilliant brain. Um, I'd have him there. I like Coach Eric. Eric Tinkler. Yeah. I think, yeah, also, 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 also top. Um, I think, I think top five. Yeah. <laughs> top five. Top five. Because this, this three, you know, Pito, Coach Rolani, and, uh, Eric. and, and Eric for me uh, are really, 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 really good coaches. Yeah. Uh, I like Coach Steve. I have Coach Steve as well. Steve? Steve Compel. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think, I think just uh, he's he's for me is our Carlo and Shalotti. You know, just has strong relationships with 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 not just players but you know club management and all of that and just also his emotional intelligence. Yeah. As a human being, yeah. I think he's a phenomenal human being. You mm. know, um, uh, of all time, I haven't. I was too young when he was coaching, mm. but I have a lot of his uh, 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 videos, mm. clips, and I, I study him a lot. Mm. Uh, to meet. Yeah. yeah. But this is not in, in order. In order. Yeah. Okay, because if it was in order, it would be something like this. Okay. Ted has been, has been phenomenal uh, yeah. in, in, in how I see the game and in how I see a South African footballer. Yeah. Because we have to we have to get to a space as South African coaches where we can define mm. uh, thoroughly mm. what a South African footballer is in terms of mentally, yeah. in terms of physically, in terms of technically. Because then we'll have situations where we can get the best out of our players if we put them in situations or conditions that that maximize their innate 
ability, mm -hmm. you know, and because because if you're going to say, uh, for example, and uh, not to 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 mm -hmm. say people should play a certain way or whatever, yeah. but most of our players, number one, are very diminutive, you know. So 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 in certain things, they're not gonna be, for example. Challenging area or all of that. They're not going to be as competent as their counterparts, maybe from West Africa or North Africa. But but Ted Ted was important to to cause, because I think I was already there because mm. even how because how we played at LSA and whatever. I had not been exposed to maximal training. When I got exposed to, it, I was like, yes, mm. this is right. Mm. I agree with this, mm. and I have to go on this journey with these uh, this this uh, methodology because it makes sense yeah. to the south african football yeah yeah, yeah. and um, if there would be um, a club that you'd love to coach right now which club would it be <laughs> and why <laughs> nah that's tricky <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, give me three ah uh, that's tricky a club that i'd love to coach in uh, at what capacity also because any capacity that you, you I think, desire i think right now my my strength is 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 working with uh, the youth. Yes. Right now. So yeah. so so it would have to be a club that that believes in in young players, a club that wants to invest in young players, a club that wants to invest in young coaches as well mm. in terms of helping out maybe because uh, Dr. Ivan was speaking about coaches who who should take the initiative. To go to to get their badges mm. outside of the country, mm. and for for me, if you speak about professional coaches, which I think he was, I think he's correct mm. because I I don't know how much they earn, mm. but it can't be too meager that you can't do a course in Botswana mm. or whatever. But I think for us as youth coaches, because generally we don't earn mm. as much. If you can if you can be a club that can support that as that that, that would be that would be amazing. Mm. But to give you the club. <laughs> Yeah. Ah, yeah, it's tight because then I mentioned the three clubs, then they don't call. Then the other club they <laughs> wanted to call. The last food, I think. Yeah, I yeah. was food. But yeah. I think I think it's very important. All sixteen know? in the DSTV. Yeah, membership. all sixteen. Yes. Uh, even even those who are not in the DSTV yes. membership, they are proper academies. It's, it's, even it's, the it's the fine. Yeah. Foundation. No, no, yeah. no, definitely it's fine. It's yeah. Fine. So you yeah. have a, a broad view of that. Broad view, broad view. Even APC with APR, yeah. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 For sure, for sure. Okay. Open to those. Let, let, let's move then to my to my favorite segment, and yeah. this is the segment that rounds up the episode. You yeah. know, I know this is the one that. Okay. Yeah, yeah it gets people. <laughs> they want to see, you know. For sure. And uh, yeah, we're gonna have a look at um, your best eleven. Yeah. In your best eleven, this is your best eleven of all time of South all African time. players. Yeah. You know, so it can uh, be past, it can be present. Your best eleven. If you had to pick, uh, I want uh, a captain. And I want a formation as well. But 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 wh why not for me, ne? Yeah. As a youth coach, mm -hmm. why not a youth eleven mm -hmm. to look out for? But of players that people know, maybe players who are in the DDC. No, no, no problem. You can give us that, and then you can give us the other one. <laughs> the other one. You still want the other one? <laughs> I still want the yeah. other one. Okay. Uh, in, fa in fact, in fact, I was going there. Yeah. I was gonna, I was gonna end with the youth eleven. The youth eleven. Because okay. I know that um, you, 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 like you mentioned, yeah. that you enjoy um, coaching a lot more in the youth. Yeah. You know, so I was gonna, I was going to end with that one. Okay. Okay. You let's know? end with that one. Let's end with that one because it, it, it sort of it leaves people wondering at the yeah, end of the episode, yeah, yeah. like, oh, okay. Next season, we must, you and, know. And you know, these, 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 these type of things, when I, Leol, yeah. are the ones that get us to be called plumbers. Because yeah. <laughs> put a player in, like, <laughs> <laughs> but it's fine. It's what it is. It's fine. So we'll start with, with, with the seniors. Uh, and then you can yeah. give me, we can go to the... Okay, PSL, ne? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, definitely, Dumoulin Kune has but to be there. You, you're a 4 3, three guy. Uh, for sure, nice, <laughs> diamonds yeah. and triangles, man. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. definitely. Yeah, it's even it even looks good. Yeah, it looks nice. Looks nice, it looks nice. Uh, it's yeah. Yeah, mm, I think especially for for the counter attack. Yeah, I think it's phenomenal. Yeah. Uh, at center back, I'd have Ohepi. Mm. Uh, even or even in the team of all time. I yeah. Think Happy, 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 happy Jelly makes it there. Yeah. Um, right back. Who are some of the finest right backs of all time? 
if if I was born before 2000, I'd say, let's go. Let's go, man. Uh, my gents. Yeah. Edward, my gents, my dad. But yeah, yeah, yeah no, I, I didn't see him play. Yeah. Uh, Leolo. <laughs> <laughs> of all time, <laughs> yeah, it's your it's your favorite. Oh, your eleven, yeah. Ah man, because it's mine. Yeah, okay, I I he's 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 he just played now in the PSL, but mm. ah, he's fantastic. Uh, Roshin, okay. Roshin Teruk, my favorite centre back. Yeah, uh, in the country. Uh, love Same. love quality. Roshin. Good human being as well. Yeah, fantastic human being. Um, left back. We we'll have Twala, Lucas, mm -hmm. Lucas Twala. Um, here, uh, but with a free role mm. to 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 move to move around general. Mm. After to choose the best player, <laughs> <laughs> the best player ever Who? in South Africa. Yeah, the Comoros. Yeah, from the, that I've seen. Yeah, I know there's others. Yeah, that you yeah. know that are better. Yeah, I've watched. Videos I got Dr. Kumal and mm. I think it's better. Mm. But for me, yeah, for I, loved, I love to take home with yeah. these. Uh, uh, here, deep lying mid, Andy Le Jali, for yeah. sure. Jali has to be there. Mm -hmm. I'd, I'd, I'd pay him with. Um, uh, okay. I'd pay him with Omani, sir, because of what they had, because of their, 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 their cohesive. Or their telepath, each yeah. of them. Just, just their partnership as a pair. Yeah, I think they were, I think they were top, 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 yeah. top, top, top. Um, so I'd have him. But I, another deep lying mid that I had, the only thing is that I'm not playing like this mm -hmm. was with Tinash. Yeah, Tinash and Ingomasha. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I was a big fan of Tinash and Ingomasha. Uh, here, Shalulile. Mm -hmm. Shalulile. Uh, Shalulile here. Mm. Uh, uh, right wing, right wing, right wing, right wing. Give me names. Give me names. <laughs> it's your, it's your level. Of all time. It's your level. It's not mine. Oh, you, you, yeah. you had to be prepared for this. Of yeah. All time. Ah, <sighs> you know, I liked, I liked U Tehang. Mm. Um, I like U Tehang. He's, 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 uh, and 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 I, we had him on, mm. on on the show, yeah. and I was telling him that. South African football as an orthodox right wing. He's yeah, my favorite of all time. And, see, I, and I also think that he was the best. You see, that's that's what I want. That's mm. what I like. That's what I'm trying to because a lot of our players now that's get that, that gets coached out of them. Yeah. A lot yeah. of a lot of our, our our players today, you don't find players naturally they can do this, mm. but most of the time they are told to get here to pass. Mm. Because um, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know Pep Guardiola sometimes. Sneak is a problem with uh, South African coaches. <laughs> pass. But the same Pep now wants Mares. Yeah. Who will take, you know, because mm. you need that. You need you need yeah. players that can solve that that, 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 that problem. Yeah. So I think Tehang here for sure, exactly for being orthodox, yeah. and direct, and being very, very, very quick. Mm. Have template. Mm. Have template. Quality in here. Yeah. So you like the, the natural. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like I like that from him, from him specifically. Uh, two full backs? Full backs. But you wanna give me names, man. <laughs> That's because you want a team that will win your like PSL and yeah. as developing it. Like. Yeah. <laughs> or 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 <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, but development uh, uh, it's just a joke. It takes place even at senior team. It's just you develop different things, but yeah. it's, still, it's, it's still there to develop a player. Right back, right back, give me names, man. <laughs> just three names, right backs. Really good right backs. Okay, uh, left back. Okay, I gave you left back. I said Lucas Twala. Lucas Twala, yeah. Lucas Twala. So right back. I haven't given you a right back. But you can help me with this. No, one. I can't help you. It's your team. <laughs> <laughs> right back. Uh, I think I'll give, you, I'll give you a right back that's probably playing now that I like. Uh, right back, right back, right back. I like Umorena. Mm. Yeah. 
I like I like Omar Hena. Like Omar Hena, right? I like Omar Hena, right? Yeah. And who's uh, because kid? he's fresh. Yeah. So a lot of right backs now are not fresh in my head. Yeah. So I mean, this is Gatla, Jimmy Town. No, no, no. No, no, not for me. Nazir Ali. Oh, who lives in Dala? I already have something like that in Twala. I think. Oh, okay. So I don't like having the same type of yeah. players in these positions. Yeah. Hence, as I told you, with my left back in my team, one would stay, one would go. One would stay, yeah. Mute. Yeah. So 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 Morena here. Yeah. I think could be. And who's the captain? The captain. Happy Jay. Okay. Unmatched as a leader. Yeah. Unmatched. Okay. Unmatched as a leader. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, whew, that was tough. Yeah. <laughs> well done. Now I need tough. you to, to 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 give me your your young boys. Now players yeah. to look out for. Sorry. Yeah. In in in. Um, uh, well, I'll give I'll give players that people can can track and they can they can watch even now. Yeah. Who I think would be who have big futures. Uh, yeah. Uh, we'll just say maybe players who are in the DDC. Yeah. Uh, goalkeeper. There's a keeper called Ephraim at Pirates. Mm. Uh, he used to deputize. Uh, last season he deputized U Kopan. Yeah. In terms of playing out from the back, mm. top leadership, organizing. Yeah. He's, uh, He's fantastic, you know, and also just the, the impact that he has. Ifra, Ifra's impact or, or, or contribution to the team does not end here. Mm. Ifra even to this guy, to yeah. this guy. He's like, hey, Baba, hey, yeah. hey, you know? Yeah. That kind, and, I, and I like keepers who are like that. Like, yeah. hey, Baba, Kora, you know? Mm. Um, that the message just to, to, to the rest of the team yeah. is, is, is top, top, top. Uh, at left back... Okay, we'll come back to left back. Left back, there's a there's a boy called uh, Lib at Pirates as mm. well. Ah, top, 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 top. We call him uh, Zinchengo. Mm. Ah, phenomenal, phenomenal in terms of insight. insight. Yeah. He, he 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 knows the game like the back of his hand, you know. Mm. And he can play at at Engine Cup. Those were at Engine Cup. He was the captain. He played here, but mm. he can. He's he's multifunctional. So here, yeah, uh, yeah, definitely him. Here again, pirates Moses. Ah, and daughter, you know, ah, pirates. Ah, <laughs> the team there, the only defender, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's a there's there's a Moses. There's I don't know if it's Moses. I don't know his name, but yeah. his name you probably know him, Spandiel. Mm -hmm. In terms of breaking the lines, yeah. Ah, phenomenal. In terms yeah. of breaking the lines, he's top, 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 top. Here, center back. There's he. He's a midfielder, but he played as a. As a center back at engine, mm. and I liked him. Mm. I liked him. Um, down to Ngosi Ngosi mm. uh, of Kaiser Chiefs. Yeah. Hey, top, 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 top. Nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ngwena le is young, yeah. but but he's, he's he can play. He was this also in the under seventeen national team. Yeah. yeah. I think I think I think he's really good. There's a bright future ahead. Mm. Um, here I'd have uh, Ditejan Chiefs. Yeah. Amazing, mm -hmm. amazing. So consistent. His actions in these areas of high quality. He yeah. can defend. You know, he's 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 so good. He's yeah. So good. If 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 you had to see, if you had seen him at engine, you would see that he's way ahead of his peers. Yeah. His qualitative superiority that he gives Chiefs is is a, something else. Yeah. Top 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 superior quality. Here I'd have U. Apelel, mm. Apelel at dead. Not just because of what we've seen, but I've seen him train, mm. and and he trains very well. From mm. what I saw, what I saw, because I, 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 I was at, uh, I spent a week uh, last year at TS Galax, mm. and 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 I didn't know him much, mm. but I saw because he'd come from Vets, I think. Yeah, yeah. But top player, his left foot, cutting in and taking yeah. shots. Very explosive. Phenomenal. Phen yeah, 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 phenomenal. Low sense of gravity. Yeah. He, he, the things he can do with the ball. Yeah. Just phenomenal. And then here, I'd have um, uh, Sonoabu Kumalo Pirates mm -hmm. passing. Yeah. Yeah. The, posi the pictures that he sees, yeah, I know. He's, he's unparalleled. You know, and he's just passing ability. Just yeah. Because here, for me, you need to be very good. You know, with your especially because he plays well when he's 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 
seeing the game. Yeah. You know, not when he's not when he's facing his own goal. So when he sees the game, yeah. the passes that he can he can he can give to his teammates is is is, is really really good. And of course, uh, here I'll have uh, Umtu. <laughs> uh, can cannot be there. Nepotism. <laughs> I have him too. I have him too. Yeah. And uh, but there are players I could have, I could mention, but now they've people have seen like mm. Jaden Adams. No, it's fine. I like Jaden. It's fine. Like, you can, like, you can, you can, you yeah, can. Yeah, yeah. 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 Like I, I'd have Jaden Adams. Yeah. Stellan Bosch here. Yeah. And uh, wide, I'd have U. Mahongot mm. Pirates. Hi. Top. Top, 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 top. Yeah. Bright future ahead. Very bright future ahead. Yeah. Um, because as I was speaking with someone about him and we were saying that the big thing about how that makes him special, like him to do, is like to, is that he can decide games. Mm. And for me, if you have players like that, especially, you know, in your final third where, you know, because us as coaches, we are there for when we do automation or for example, something like that. It's there to, like I said, to protect the players mm. in case they can't find solutions on their own. Because sometimes players are having a bad game yeah. or whatever. Maybe they can't find the solutions. But then the optimization or the mechanization helps them make decisions that they don't have to be conscious of. Mm. Just unconsciously receiving on a back foot, knowing mm. ah, I can play there, I'm safe. Yeah. At least they can be safe. But players who can decide games like, like him, Mm. For me, for me, is 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 phenomenal. You yeah. Know, uh, the things that he does, you don't even have to coach. Yeah. Um, how is is top? Um, so I'd have him actually on the right because he's left footed. Mm. But I want to have Apelele here. Mm. I think Apelele, in terms of his shooting ability, yeah. is better than 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 how when Coming in motion. Yeah. When he, yeah. So yeah. Have, and how is better in finding different possibilities yeah so so maybe a pellet i don't know maybe here he may struggle mm -hmm. but how even here an alliance plan yeah 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 and then here i'll have uh, one delay too uh nepotism <laughs> okay <laughs> where, 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 is uh, where is that your pony <laughs> that nah, is nepotism but radio pony is a professional <laughs> ah radio pony yeah. but i'm a professional Uban. But but also but the thing is yeah. these players I think I'm mentioning them because I think they're going to play in the yeah. in the in the shield or, oh, or DC okay. this season. Yeah. I don't, Radio Pan is out. Yeah. I think maybe maybe Jaden we may see if uh, if some keep. Uh, if some keepers Law say say Jala is playing full time. Full time. <laughs> then we first follow U U City. Yeah. Chiefs. As uh, he used to play a lot as a ten, yeah. But now as an eight, I see he's grown in terms of mm. off the ball, you know, chasing. Yeah, understands. Yeah, 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 yeah. And just you know, it's not as much as not a, a, a physical specimen, but but he gets into the right areas to to intercept, to 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 win the ball, and and he's just his capacity, his work rate has, has improved yeah. immensely. So so I'd have him there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But but. Ideally, to be honest, yes. If if he was still in the TDC, yeah. Radio Pani definitely goes, goes in there. Yeah. But because I, I think Duba is still going to play in the TDC, and I think it's someone to look out for. Uh, I'd have Utuba there, mm. and um, yeah, that, that that would be that would be the the team, you know. Captain. Yeah. Uh, captain. Captain. <sighs> Kesha Spandiel. Okay. Kesha Spandiel. Is our captain, mm. and he must lead us to to something. <laughs> to something. To something. <laughs> to the glory. Something. Yeah. 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 But uh, again, the glory here is is if most of these players become professional. Professional. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But if they can win, it's even better. Yeah. Because yeah. I always believe that you can't take away winning, mm. even if it's at youth level. Mm. It's, it's there. It's an outcome of the game. Yeah. And they don't want to lose anyway. Mm. So help them win. Yeah. But help and 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 help them win. Not just for now, but long for years term. To come, because yeah. the best, the best, uh, the players that play better and play longer are the players that have been properly developed. Mm. So if you have a, so it's like school of excellence. School of excellence, uh, people rave about them and say they don't care about winning or whatever, but they actually do win. Mm. The team that we we're talk, that, that played engine now, they qualified to play engine, mm. but because they're so good, they have qualitative superiority. 
m more than other uh, other teams, they win. But if they lose, it's not a, a big deal. No, right? they go to the but semi-final also. You see, so. it, it, Paris Cup, they go to. So they they. So when you when you have, when you when you develop correctly and you do the right things, winning becomes a byproduct. Yeah. And for a longer period. Yeah, it's more sustainable mm. because you don't have to 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 change a lot because already. The players are, 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 are technically, you know, superior. Mm. So, or, or, or technically, mentally, all these other things yeah. are superior. So, yeah. Yeah. So, coach, in closing, what is what is the ultimate achievement in your career? What is that one thing that you really like to achieve? Uh, you know, I'd love I'd love to have to 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 impact uh, more lives. Uh, like I have those who I have and those who are, I'm, I'm currently helping um, but personally personally I definitely definitely love to see myself coaching at, uh, at the highest level um, uh, possible because you know I love I love that I love the the pressure that's there uh, the competition I think it fuels me mm. and I think I have the discipline and the willingness to sacrifice mm. to to be a one day in in, 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 in in that space but for now where I am I just want to learn as much as I can mm. I just want to learn as much as I can from people like yourself who have impacted me profoundly and mm. you probably have no idea just from <laughs> Uh, a, your 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 content and the people you bring here. I, I don't even watch TV. Mm. Your the things that you put out is all I watch. Mm. I go back to Coach Michael's uh, interview. I go back to Coach Rolani's mm. because I go back to Coach Kevin's interview because again, you know, success leaves clues mm. and and uh, and it's important to 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 really understand what it's like where you want to be mm. and you've given us. Uh, that and also with your analysis as well because the way you see the game Fantastic, you know, so you and other people that that, that I have in my life I just want to learn as much as I can from them now and for now for me It's not important where I'm coaching as mm. long as I'm coaching mm. as long as I'm even now uh, in the morning at a session a lowly a gas mm. and uh, and and the good thing is that there I can I can express myself mm. i can design a session that i think makes sense mm. if i need to record it and send it to a mentor and say what do you think of the exercise it's fine mm. you know but i'm coaching mm. so for now I, I i just want to be coaching but definitely ultimate ultimate goal is to is to coach at the highest level and and compete and do well and um yeah that would be that would be life life well lived for me yeah you know, to 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 yeah, I mean to win to win things at the highest yeah. level. I mean, yeah yeah, 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 for sure, definitely. Yeah, yeah. So, ladies and gentlemen, you heard it here first from Coach Fiso Um Coach, uh, I really enjoyed this conversation. Yeah, you know, I really, really enjoyed the conversation, and um, I think you have uh, a very beautiful and very sharp footballing brain. You know, and um, you're a person who's also very selfless. You know, and the contributions that 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 you've made thus far, and that you're still going to make in the future. You know, I know that um, a lot of um, the young boys you spoke about today. You know, I know they hold you in high esteem. I know that even some of your your colleagues, you know, they hold you in high esteem as well. You know, and even those who we may look at right now, coaching in the DSTV Premiership or within um, Glad Africa, which has now become Mutsiba Foundation, and even in ABC, there are some guys, I'm, I'm sure, I'm, I'm sure that they know your work and they're looking at what you're doing, you know, and um, thank you very much for coming through, you know, and um, just blessing me with your knowledge, your wisdom, you know, I myself, um, I, I, I learned from you as well. You know, and I learned so much in today's episode. And I hope those at home really got to understand who you are as a person, who you are as a coach as well, and um, what you're also going to achieve within South African football, you know, yeah. and beyond, of course, yeah, 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 you know, sure. and beyond, of course. No, no, no. Thanks. Thanks a lot, Liolo. But uh, I was clear from, from the beginning that uh, me, I'm done coaching now. <laughs> I've arrived. I'm here. <laughs>
You still want me to go cold? You, you sat on the seat. Ah, <laughs> in the seat. Oh, yo, oh, yo, 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 yo. Coach Muradi said, yeah. Coach Kevin Hart said, yeah. I'm done. Yeah. I can go dance, my man. <laughs> thanks. Thank you so much. No, so appreciate good. It. Thank you very much, you, man. Yeah, thanks. No, I appreciate thanks, you, man. Thanks, thanks, you, man. Thanks, Just thanks keep that. up the good work. Keep yeah. striving. Keep fighting. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And, um, yeah, very soon, I know. Yeah. I know. I know. See we'll be the, seeing you there. See you at the top. <laughs> <laughs> in the same corner. Sure. I'm there already. Sure. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> sure. So, ladies and gentlemen, there was yet another special episode of Disky Talk with Luyolo. If you did enjoy that one, please do subscribe, hit the notification bell, like, comment, and share the link as well. Thank you very much for tuning in. Signing out.